Hello, everybody. I'm Jarrett Reddick. And this is a podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This is movie commentary with no movie knowledge. This podcast is me and my friend Rich talking about movies that we like. But my name's on it because I'm famous. This is Jarrett goes to the movies. Still. Okay, we're starting now. yourself you're like how is this podcast gonna go like because that was the intro to it like what are they possibly gonna fucking talk about because there's no talking in this movie because there's no dialogue in the whole movie (laughs) we'll figure it out everything is basically a there's a little there's a there's some cigar smoking yeah a few acid trips yep and then uh and then apollo creed Apollo yeah, Creed. and then Apollo Creed gets choked to death, and that's it. That's the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they made a mistake right out of the box by showing us something even coming to the planet. Agreed. I, We're going to get into that. Yeah, because if you're watching it for the first time, yeah, no, I agree. that's stupid. Hi, everybody. My name is Jarrett. Welcome, <laughs> hi, Jarrett, to this podcast called Jarrett Goes to the Movies. Holy shit, what a night we've had already. Um, Man, it's been crazy. We'll just jump right in because there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on, uh, well, with you. Hey, with me, as always, is Rich. Hey. Now, here's the thing. Rich said we're allowed to talk about the fact that he's still dating, but we can't specifically talk <laughs> about and what's going on. I guess and, I should have said you can't talk about me saying that you can't talk I about I just don't understand <laughs> what that means. That. Yeah, you're always so cryptic. You, and I don't think you that. really aren't, are you, Rich? I just don't understand <laughs> what the fuck that means. It's like, <laughs> I, are you saying, okay, so anyway. How hard I is this? Are you banging somebody or not? No, I, I guess he can't not, say it. Not banging anyone. He doesn't say that. <laughs> okay, He's then. not even banging himself. Yeah. Guess we no, can I'm, move on to the movie now. <laughs> you bang yourself? Earlier today. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. And, and Aww, let okay. me ask you this. So you. You you take your lap, whole laptop into the bathroom? No, no, no. That was when I was married. No, he, oh, okay. he likes to watch on his monitors. Yeah, I got three monitors. Oh, you do the three I'm like a NASA. Thing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Pre- now, he NASA doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't do that. Clorox wipes three. <laughs> no, Can I, no, I use a whole on towel. Can like, I ask you a question about that, person. by the whole way? Towel. Can yeah. I ask you a question about masturbating in your office? Because sure. I've actually wondered about this. Do you take your pants completely off, or yes. you just go down to the ankles? No, 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 no. So I don't you, like any kind of thing that generates heat touching my body. Do you have a you shirt get completely on? Completely naked? Mm. Yeah. There's yeah. the lack While of pussy right there. While you're sitting in your office. <laughs> yeah. So you're completely naked. I'm, I'm by myself, by the but way. But in an <laughs> office chair, right? Yeah. So your butthole is touching your chair. No. What do you mean? I ha- I actually have a butt. So the cheeks protect. Nah, but you the don't like lean little, back. He does have a little badonk. You don't no, lean I back. I have some badonk. Thank there's you. No yeah. spreadage. No, there's no spreadage. All right. Well, I'm happy that we're opening up the predator episode <laughs> with a masturbating thing that got us well, nowhere. That's what predators do? Jared. <laughs> right. Well, I you know? here's the thing. I I was thinking to myself because yeah. I I try not to masturbate in my in my office. Excuse me. But if I do, I put a paper towel under me because I don't want to get butthole on my chair. <laughs> I don't here? touch the butthole to my chair. No, I don't really do it up I'm here. I'm not that pristine about my masturbating. It just happens. Yeah. it. You know what? It oh, yeah. Really do, you, does. do you turn the recording light on when you're in here doing yeah, that? Yeah, you have a light. You just flip it on. So I know, like, <laughs> it not doesn't fucking... No, it doesn't work. Yeah. No. In fact, I feel like that recording light draws people to the room like Oh, there he is. <laughs> you know, like, I found, oh, him. Fuck, I found him. There he is. Yeah, he's not in the bathroom for once. God damn it. I wish I was in the bathroom. Bathroom. My <laughs> lovely, he is. he's not wearing pants. <laughs> My lovely wife Casey is here. Hello, baby. Hello. 
had dinner with uh, your mom this evening. I did. Casey's mom. And uh, <laughs> how was that? It was good. <laughs> I've got it going on. Uh, a new soundbite from James Stanton. She Stant. looked very nice. Did she? <laughs> Casey's mom. I love that. That was That's where we're great at Thanksgiving. Yeah, there we go. gets an extra helping of That's right. No, wait, here's the thing. She's like three years older than me. <laughs> it's it's wow. like... It's, <laughs> oh, man. We actually had to have a conversation of after me and Casey started dating... Uh, Casey had to be like, were you ever like, do you ever go see a band called Bowling for Soup or uh, yeah, is there any she said way? That she told me there's at least a 98% chance that Jarrett's not my not actual dad. Not her dad. Yeah. So anyway, we're good now. We did 23 <laughs> and me. The, she's like, I know it was one of the musicians from down there that got me. Right. <laughs> uh, Silent Sean is here. Silent Sean is actually having ravioli right now. And um, greetings and salutations, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny how you can talk and eat at the same time. That's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Holy shit. Now, okay, so as I get into more introductions... He also knows string theory. As I get into more and more introductions, <laughs> I get more excited. Now, Sweet Cheeks is here. and so. Oh, thanks, man. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> right. Oh, God damn it. No, I'll call you something better. Uh, Sweet Cheeks, you're here. You're wearing your... Uh, t- he made us all size large t-shirts tonight. Yeah. That Predator will, shirts. Th- those will fit like one person in I the room. I got three t-shirts tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I had. Yeah. He's, he, he looks like the guy that's fucking your wife, but your pool's not getting cleaned either. <laughs> right. He does. Yeah. Dude! Yeah. You, that's a good thing to put on your Tinder. You could put like, I look like the guy who's cleaning your pool, but Can I'm... you text me that later? So yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm uh, afraid cheeks. my chick will see it. And <laughs> yeah, we're not getting your contact number. Sweet anywhere cheeks, anywhere thank yeah, you so it. much for rescuing Jared Spear. Who? So here's the thing, Jared Spear. Uh, you guys all know him, friend of the show. He's coming in for the MXPX show, and I'm like, dude, how can you come here and not do the podcast? So I tried. I'm thinking we could move it to Saturday. We can't move it to Saturday. So. Uh, he decides instead he's going to do the podcast. Then he's going to drive down and see my Carrera, my good friend, in Austin. Asia right? Carrera. And uh, who? Now, Jared, Ryan have Cabrera. you have you ever met him? Numerous times, actually. Okay, I've seen good. them like six times, and this is the third year in a row I'm seeing them on my birthday. Awesome. Talking, talking Love the mic. that. Now talk Pretty into cool. the mic because I was going to arrange Sorry. that, but I guess there's nothing special I can do for you. Uh, for that show, even backstage beforehand, that'd be cool. I've always what, met him after this. What yeah. venue are they playing? Uh, Mohawk. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Now, uh, Jared, it's great to see you. I'm glad fucking here, glad as awesome. shit that you're here. Now, I have to. Uh, I just have to. This introduction is is a little insane for me. Uh, in 19, I think we figured it out during the pre-show. And by the way, if you can you can hear an hour of us, yeah, with Lex uh, on our bonus episodes, but you've got to be a Patreon supporter. Yep. So it's going to cost you a buck. Yeah. To go do that. 1998, I'm driving back. I'll never forget this story as long as I live. I'm driving back from Tyler, Texas. We had made it a fucking night, guys. Like, we had just... I mean, I think we left Tyler at 4.30. <laughs> I had drank so much, I was sober. There's really nothing left to do after it, 11.30. That's, that's what I'm like, saying. God knows what you were that's doing. That's what we try to tell our children, right? Yeah. Like, th- what good happens after midnight? Well, that's when people get pregnant, Mom. Yeah, you babies. Know, apparently. Yeah, um, Everett's Edward, super cute, though. He is really yeah. cute, boy. Um, I stopped <laughs> in uh, in some little podunk town to get gas, and I had the radio on, and I'm flipping channels, you know, as I, I did the thing where, like, the key is just, like, halfway there, so it's on. I'm waiting for the thing to fill up. Somebody went in to take a piss, and I stumble upon Q102, and the Lex and Terry show is on. And I you hear one of, one of the funniest things I've ever heard in the history of radio where they were ringing the doorbell of people and then, you know, running. But it, it's the funny thing is, is this on the air? So I was lucky enough about eight years later to go on their show and then befriend them. And we've been friends since. Uh, Lex Staley is here from the Lex and Terry show, everybody. Let's get uh, it up. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I can't tell you. I'm having so, a blast, by the way. Well, this is I'm really cool. so glad you're here. Uh, now, we rewind just a, like a, a few weeks ago. I was on your podcast. You were. Uh, we we were just gonna, released that, by the way. That's so. right. It's out everywhere. Yeah. So, What's uh, the address? If you want the link, it's on all of our social media, official Lex and Terry Facebook page, and uh, at Lex and Terry uh, 
uh, IG and uh, Twitter. Twitter and all that stuff. The, th- the cool thing about the interview is, is is that you had you had set it down to be forty five minutes, but you had told me all of the we you and I had texted a bunch. You and I have uh, some stuff in common as far as like the last or at least for me, you know, a few years ago. Uh, went both went through crazy divorces Woo-hoo! and both have dealt with uh, some shit with some anxiety. And, oh you yeah, know, yeah, we have so, a whole conversation about. So that. we talk about all of that. We put it all out there. But not only do you ask me questions, I ask you questions back. Forty five minutes turned into three hours, and we forgot to talk about the band. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I felt more interviewed than he was. Uh, <laughs> I, I found out more about myself uh, in the first hour of that than yeah. I knew myself. I get that a lot yeah. now. Um, Man, I'm so happy you're here, and it just so happened that I invited you to come and be on this podcast. You're like, dude, I'll do it anytime. And I'm like, what are some of your favorite movies? The first movie you said was Predator. Oh yeah, and it was actually on the schedule. So yeah, we I, only had to move him back one week. I texted Rich and I go, dude, well, let's just get him in here yeah. for this. And and I think everybody's like, is he really going to show up? He's really going to be here. I I didn't think you'd do my favorite movie of all time, which is American Beauty. Oh, we would have totally done yeah. that. We're going yeah. to at some yeah, point. Yeah, that's yeah. on the calendar. Gonna have to come back. Yeah, like the greatest movie ever. Now, besides me, is Lex like the second fam- most well, I was, famous? I was person? literally just going to say I think he's actually more famous than the guy from Roadhouse. That I we think had. he is too. Uh, we, oh, what so, guy from Roadhouse? So we have the we had the guy in here who ripped Patrick Swayze's heart out. No, his oh, throat. The, the oh, guy, his throat. The guy that says I fuck guys like you in prison? I, is that, that guy? The I guy? think so, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. had that, that guy, guy in, in here. Yeah. Oh, God, it's one of my favorite lines ever. Oh, I fell off the couch the first time I heard that. It's like yeah. episode oh, did 40, he say I that? Yeah, he was in here. And uh, now here's the thing, Lex, about him. Uh, if you want to go back and listen to that episode. <laughs> uh, he is unaware that that movie isn't real. <laughs> so the whole time he talks about it, he's just like, well, we'd wake up in the morning, we'd tape up our ribs, and we'd just fight. we just fight, you know? <laughs> and one time, then Patrick Swayze, yeah, he'd, he'd kick me, you know, he'd kick me right here in the nose or whatever. And then next day, whatever, you know, at, we're, we're doing this, we're doing some choreography. I had to return the I broke two of his ribs. <laughs> and we're just like, okay, I'm not really sure that's what's supposed to happen. But, and he's like... He literally thought it was real. Wow. So we had to ask him, <laughs> did you really rip his throat out? Like, is that what happened to him? <laughs> oh, it, uh, you know, it's called acting. Yeah. You know, you're not Daniel fucking Day Lewis or <laughs> yeah. you know, he was a, the guy who takes a hammer to his foot so he can win an Oscar. He was a sweetheart of a guy, though. He was amazing, by the way. I do that because I'm... I'm being playful. He was so amazing. His wife was was great. Hold on one second. Jack, yes, sir. You want Allie? Okay. Dogs all have to go pee. And then can you give the, can you go out and get the other two a chew and then put them back in the crate, please? All right. Just make sure the bottom gate's shut. What'd you do? Like, hey, our Uber driver's here with the McDonald's. Hold on a second. <laughs> nice. Don't dude. think that hasn't happened. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what I was telling him. That's what happens on the show. That would be nice about now, actually. <laughs> I'm glad you did, dude. Pays to be sick in practice. My son's been sick for three days, so Fortnite sure has fucking conquered now. <laughs> um, well, Lex, we're we're really glad you're here, and uh, again, it's it's an honor to have you here. Terry has been such a great friend to me through a bunch of shit, and I'm so glad that you and I have gotten to be such yeah, good me friends. Me too, man. I, uh, and uh, I'm, again, thanks do you for live being close here. by? I, I live in Addison. He used to live in Prosper. Yeah, I used to live yeah. right up the street. Uh, yeah, yeah, you said the Pro- soccer, the, the yeah. Prosper soccer. So. Yeah, he a, lived here. I when... can feel the a little bit of the orb coming off my house. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, so I'm a little upset. But you lived here when Dion lived here. I, I did. I used to see Dion all the time at at the uh, you know uh, Tiger Mart up here. Yeah, because yeah. that's where we all got. Yeah. We still only have one store. We got a Chick Fil A, but there's still only one store. <laughs> right. So we, I, we I was in there one night, and it was me, Dion, and Luke Bryan were in the. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me yeah. ask you this: Have you ever heard someone do a Luke Bryan impression that is so good you forget where you are? 
<laughs> no, but I would love one because he sounds like half my friends in Jacksonville growing up. All right. The so way he talks. here's the thing. Now, he, interestingly enough, Luke Bryan is in town tomorrow, and my daughter's going to go see him. And I, I said to her, I said, would you like me to call you guys while you're on the dart train and do my impression <laughs> Of Luke Bryan while you're there, and you and I could I could just impress your friends. It could be like stereo. And she said, "Nay." Oh right. no! No, she no, said, she "Ah, weird." So I will now do. I would like to hear it. Here is Luke Bryan singing. Uh, That's my kind of night. <laughs> you can hang your shirt out on a limb, rolling on forty fives. Pretty girl by my side. All them other boys want to wind you up and take you downtown. But you look like the kind of girl that likes to way out. Where the corn rolls grow, roll, roll your boat. Dude. Yeah, that's my kind of night. Dude, if you, if you need to come guest on the show one day and when we do talk to a star. I'll just be Luke what, Bryan. We, we, do a, we do a bit called yeah. Talk to a Star and we play the people. I can also oh do Howie God. Mandel. Do you watch America's Got Talent? Oh, yeah. All right. And, and he's one of the guys who, who don't. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. You say you came here tonight so that America could see you? I am so glad to tell you America saw you and now they're going to vote. <laughs> you may not watch that show. If that you, fucking impression is yeah. spot on. We watch all right, it a lot. All right I got good. a good one. You want to hear it? Yeah. All right. Stone Cold Steve Austin on on Redneck Eye. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> all right. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go on out there. You're gonna take that barrel. You're gonna throw it down there. You're gonna jump over it. Then you're gonna get in the water and you're gonna go back here on the raft. <laughs> it's called. Go out there, jump over the barrel, get on the raft, and come back here. <laughs> I'm so not. Good. I mean, it's it's the best. I, I I'm what so is that? Is that, that a show? Over. Is that a show? Yeah, it was, was on for three years. It Holy was, it was shit! Fucking Man, amazing. I missed so much being on the road because I don't even even as we, we so now that I'm I'm like friends with a bunch of wrestlers now. I take the boys and uh, me and the wife took the boys up to uh, the really big one in Philadelphia. Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Yeah. And they the boys got to meet literally everyone. Except oh, for man. John Cena. Nobody meets him. Well, nobody meets John Cena. I met John <laughs> Cena in the Tampa well, except Airport. Except for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Except for you. He didn't, he didn't want to meet me, but I just... Well, yeah. Tampa Airport. Tiger Mart yeah. with yeah. Dion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When you meet anybody in the airport... By the way, nobody wants to meet you in the airport. Like, and, and, I'm, and I'm guilty of that. You were talking earlier on the... Uh, on on the bonus episode about how you guys like got a little bit too big for your britches and shit. Oh, we were uh, I, I, we hated ourselves. So I do, I'm not like that. I am the nicest person in the world. But if I'm at the airport and like in line at Burger King for breakfast, I'm already shameful of my existence. Yes. Like I the last thing I want to do is talk to anyone, and I can still turn it on. But man, is it hard because I don't like croissants. <laughs> and that's fucking all they have at Burger King in the airport. Well, I, I, I like the people. It's like, it's like Lex, Lex, Lex. You, you remember that? I called like 10 years ago. You remember? Oh. I, I was going out with a girl and she dumped me. Yeah. I'm like, dude, we get that call like seven times a day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, How do you do that? A little no, bit. Honestly, I get yeah. this. All, I got it just the other day. Me and Casey were at a, a bar that we we go to sometimes because a friend of ours owns it. And a new bartender, and he just looks at me, goes, hey, man, he goes, you remember me? And, like, that's his opening line. Mm. And I, no, and I, a, a, I say yes, because I <laughs> yeah. fucking, I'm too goddamn that's nice. What morons like us do. Yeah, but so, it's a little bit of anxiety inside of you, like, this guy's fucking with me. Yeah, well, and anyway, I, but I'm, the whole time. But now I'm, just, I'm old and bitter, so. Are just, you? No, I don't, I don't remember you. Do you say that? No, I'm being serious. Do you say that? Because I can't. I can't do it. I don't yeah, have well, that Yeah, well, I mean, I, mean I do it with a smile on my face and laugh. It's like, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> don't. Okay. No, yeah. I don't. Yeah, but it's and, true. and I probably should do that. I probably should yeah. just be like, dude, I drink a lot. You know, or <laughs> I learned. I learned from the best. Not that anyone ever recognizes me, but when I'm with you at your thing and someone, the podcast knows me, yeah. and I don't know them, I do what I learned from you. Hey! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, are you hey! serious? 
it's a, as long as you're like, of course I do. Like, get in here. What the fuck? How are you? My favorite is, you know, I listen to you guys every day. I love you, Terry. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Lex. I can one I can one up you on that. I've gained a little weight over the last few years, and I have no. been. I have been called Chris a couple of times. Oh, and that's I, I, will t- uh, I will tell you, I'm just like, what, Chris, all of a sudden isn't fucking bald? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know? Like, you know you're getting fat when people stop saying that you look like Johnny Knoxville and they switch to Chris Farley. Well, does it feel good to be the... <laughs> you know, like, oh my God, you're t- hey, Chris Farley coming into Grandy's. <laughs> does it feel good the to be the most Grandy's guy recognizable <laughs> person in the band finally, though? I was always the most recognizable oh, okay. person, but I used to be cute with great hair. Now just I'm just hair. fat with great hair. Well, when I saw you in the airport the first time I'd ever Alicia seen you hair. in person, yeah, I noticed you guys because of Chris. Did you see us in the airport? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you say hi? No, I, I mean, yeah, I just go, oh, that must be Bowling for Soup, because I recognize Chris right yeah. away. Well, I didn't recognize any of the other guys. He is the he was the face and uh, will always be the face of us, and uh, and God love him. He's the fucking best. Now, um, we are here doing a podcast. I've now introduced everyone. We've gone on a couple of tangents, and maybe we should now take care of a little bit of business so we can get into this fucking amazing motion picture. That we're going to talk about this evening. Before I do that, here's what it sounds like when I put the black uh, <laughs> little thing onto my Yeti koozie. Here we Why go. is that necessary? Hold on. Wait, hold on. It's not even doing it. You're going to just that was an- shush. anticlimactic. Here it, Here it goes. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh my God, it didn't do it. <laughs> It really I, almost, I almost, when you did, I almost went. Sean broke it. Oh my God. What the <laughs> fuck? Too. Did you stretch this out? Jared's opening a bill. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah. don't make me like you, pool boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, it, actually, I know he, I'm going to come home and find you one Actually, day. he grows on you yeah. and then he'll fuck it up. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucked up. He no. wears, he wears, he wears bath, you, bathroom, like, air spray as cologne. <laughs> no, I can already tell. I already, already tell I can hang with this guy. He's anytime. the fucking best. Yeah, he, we he, love he, sweet you know, he, he, you know Taint on the show. He, he's he got a lot of that. In Is the, Taint still on the show? It, Taint does... Taint still does stuff on the show from time to time, but he's like growing up now. Yeah, he's like in his thirties. So is he there in the eighties okay. too? Because that sounds familiar. Yeah. Taint was yeah. not there. In the I mean, 80, not the, in not, the nineties. And, 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 no, Taint was later, and then but Taint. Well, I did listen to them in the second time. Also. Okay, so like after they came back in two thousand six. Yeah. Taint was around shortly after that, but he would come to every Bowling for Soup show. He yeah. always brought chicks. And Taint's like, epic. Yeah, he, he's he's. He's one of the, one of the most fun people ever. Yeah, yeah. great guy. And uh, we we do a bit with him right now called Ten Dollar Lie, where he gets people to he hands them the phone at like seven in the morning. He's like, man, I've been out all night. You know, just tell her. You know, uh. <laughs> and and Sarah's on the other end. You know, they hand it. And she's like, where who were you with? And were there girls there? And so you know, and these homeless guys are like, yeah, man, we were just chilling out. They're in a, <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah. We've never had to pay anybody ten dollars ever. You know, they'll, they'll lie their ass off for him. He, he, that, he get, he, he's that guy that gets people to lie for him. That you know? is Much such like a you, I'm sure. What yeah. the fuck? Again, yeah. we're talking yeah. about. He uh, good like me. Actually. Lex is on the Lex and Terry show. You can actually grab their app and listen to them anytime. They're on 14, 15 radio stations uh, yeah. in the country, and, and they're on the internet. Just it, You just probably do, already do listen to them. You probably do. Just do it again. My, one of yeah, my I'm favorite, so sick of them. One of my favorite bits that you guys ever did was when you would send D to like a Walmart or something. Oh, we still do it. Pay D it, game. No. Oh. When are you due? Oh, we, yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah. And he would just walk up to like random women and he'd just be like, hey, how's it going? You know, oh, uh, you know, and yeah, I'm looking for this. Or oh, and when are you due? <laughs> oh my God. And they would just be like, well, I'm, I mean, just. I mean, so, some of the girls are like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, you just hear this. <gasps> it's it's definitely like I played an opposite game when I was pregnant. I was very very tiny before I got pregnant, so I was very clearly pregnant. And people would come up and go, "Oh my gosh, how far along are you?" And I would just like just 
it's, far enough to fine. shoot you in the fucking face it's yeah. fine it's it, it's yeah. not a big deal but I, it's just a, I, I just have a thing everybody does it don't worry but no I'm not pregnant and they'd be like <laughs> yeah, oh my god uh, it's not a big deal yeah, it happens all, it happens all the time don't it, worry it's you know, just it's one of those tumors with hair and teeth in it they're exactly. gonna it up. that's a great yeah. way to get kicked yeah. in the nut I don't yeah. know if you've seen that video but it's not similar to that but like the guy goes to the store and he puts like hot dog wieners in people's pockets and people <laughs> they'll film and they'll, people will be walking around and they'll be like and, oh, put it back, or, or, like literally he'll just like put sneak sneak hot dogs in people's pockets reverse pickpocket yeah. hot dogs that's awesome you know how it is though like anytime you have something on you and you're in a crowd and you wish it wasn't or whatever like like say there's like, like an ugly girl get mm, that yeah. but but oh. i'm more talking about like say you're in a crowd you don't know anybody and like a bug flies in your hair and then you get it, and you've like got it, and you don't want to freak out, so you're like trying to be cool. Can you imagine like having a fucking hot dog in your pocket? <laughs> like, what are you doing? How do you? And then you're you're just, just like, drop the how hot dog the dog fuck is? Yeah. I mean, I would eat it. So he does that, but he also does like pickles too, like cold, wet pickles. I would not eat that. Also, by the way, hide the pickle. That's a game for married people. <laughs> All right, uh, I do want to say thank you to everybody who listens to this program. We love you guys so very much. I do need to remind you guys, this is a Matt Cardosi and Daniel Cotton production. Daniel Cotton did indeed forget once again that he was supposed to be on Five Questions. <laughs> Isn't that three times now? So, yeah, maybe yeah. so. Now, Jared It is Spear, 2, 3 a.m. right now. Jared Spear was an hour late getting here, mm -hmm. so he is here, uh, but here's the thing. Who gives a shit? Right. Right? We'll just figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out. All right. I want to say this. All of our producers are Patreon supporters. If you want to support our show, why not do it? It costs a dollar a month. That gets you outtakes. Five dollars a month gets you the archive, archive of outtakes. Ten dollars a month gets you a Google Hangout. And twenty dollars and up. Twenty dollars, we say your name every single week. Now, here's the best part about it. <laughs> if you just support us for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh -huh. For a month. Not per show. A month. So four or five right. shows. Okay? Right. Stick with me, Rich. I'm with you. You get a 20% discount on merch. So let's say I support us for a dollar. Right. Then I buy a shirt. Shirts are $20. I right. say $2. Holy. I just made, you made fucking money. money. You fucking right. made money. So this is a profit deal, guys. Please support our show. Our new supporters do include $20 supporter Mr. Nick Brigoni. Josh Millman has upped his pledge from $20 to fucking $50. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Yeah. welcome to Five Questions, Josh Millman. <laughs> and the new owner of this podcast. <laughs> no, actually, oh. those are Matt Cardosi and Daniel Cotton, who they do $100. Oh, Daniel, yeah. Daniel's a dick and stole it for All right, so executive <laughs> producers are Ashley C., Wendy Croft, Matt Cardosi, David Murray, David Dooley, Rodon James, Daniel Cotton, Lucy Murray, Jared Spear. He's right over there, guys. Yeah. Diane Small, John Gickler, Lisa Winslow, Ghost Steelers, Katie Morgan. I'm glad you got a Roomba. Greg Pascal, <laughs> Shawnee Mae Griffiths, Josh Millman, Mark Ryan, Tyler J. McCullough, Svee Hurst. Svee Hurst. God damn it! Svee <laughs> Hurst. Jason Randall. So Chris Jacobs, Mike Breton, Brian Dunning, Paul Balms, Amy Pitzinger, Jason Wall, Bodie Cooper, Woody Chambers, Kirsty Fisher, Don Petretta, Michael Price, Simone Vark, who did not quit the, the podcast. podcast. So, and uh, Gina, it's it Gina or Jenna? Jenna? Jenna Gale Hale, who just fucking changes her name all the time. Yeah. But if you, dude, become well, her, daughter, her daughter's name is Haley. Do she me a favor. Say Haley if you if you want to be entertained, become a ten dollars supporter and get on the Google Hangout when Jenna is there. And it's worth the 10 bucks. It actually is. 100%. <laughs> Brian, Mason, and is that, Nick. Is that who you go in the restroom to, Rich? <laughs> <laughs> and Nick Brigoni. Thank you guys so very much for being supporters. Uh, just go to patreon.com and search Jarrett Goes the Movies or just go to jarrettgoesthemovies.com. This week we're talking about the, the, uh, the movie. The, uh, it's not the. We're talking about the movie Predator. Now, here's the thing. I don't think I realized until just now that this movie happened in 1987. Yeah. It makes a lot more sense now. Oh, okay. As to what the fuck you I thought just thought it was a watched. 90s movie? You know what, though? The CGI was wasn't watching. bad for 87. I, it was great for 87. I agree for 87. Yeah. Um, 
I do think differently about it, but to me, this movie's a fucking comedy. Uh, <laughs> totally. It's 107 minutes. Well, I feel like a douche now that I read my notes. I really had like some really uh, intricate takes about it. You got to no, fucking give us all that shit. Yeah, That's why you're here, Lex. Oh, yeah, so you can fucking laugh at me? No, when it's, just, <laughs> no it's because know, we want to... I see to, you laughing, pool boy. We need that insight. <laughs> <laughs> we need that insight. Ladies and gentlemen, Predator, a team of commandos on a mission in Central America junk... So, God damn it. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> a, take team that again. Of, a team of commandos on a mission in a Central American jungle, can I add filled with Russians, <laughs> find themselves hunted. Wait, which, by the way, I can't believe that's even in there because they're in there for a cup of coffee. Exactly. You know, and, you're, and they don't even look like fucking Russians. No. They look like, you know, Hispanic And dudes. then they died. Yeah. They find themselves hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. Got that's it. a fucking goddamn good synopsis. A little wordy, but right. It's not. No, it got wordy. You want me to do it again and just me do it? Yeah, okay. Really Here we go. All right. A team of commandos on a mission in a Central American jungle find themselves hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. Oh, yeah. You added all the words. That's yeah. almost as yeah, good as right. Groundhog Day. Eh, not as good what? as, but Groundhog almost. Day is still the winner, right? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Groundhog Day. I don't know. Read it again. Okay. <laughs> no, right. we we, uh, <laughs> we went for uh, the Princess Bride for a little bit. Then we read them both again. We were like, nope, like Groundhog Day. Oh, uh, you're right. At least one of the one-liners in there, and it would be great. You're yeah. right. Over to Rich for his alternative synopsis. <laughs> Predator! A team of badasses that are trying to rescue some cured meat hanging in the jungle get ambushed by Little Wayne's dad, only to find out that aliens are really sore losers. <laughs> A, is, is it possible that that's really L Little Wayne's dad? I think it is. Are you being serious or no? I what? read the credits. It said Little Wayne's dad. Shut no, I. I, I just, which guy are you talking Wayne about? The shaving guy? <laughs> shaving no, big, no big, Little Wayne's dad with the dreadlocks. It's yeah, the alien. Was, okay, so you just said that because he has dreads. Yes. You could have said Ziggy Marley's dad. Right? I almost went Ziggy Marley's dad, but that would just be dude. Everybody Bob knows that's Russell that Brand, right? Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. It said. Now this movie does star Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger as ju as. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, pronounce it right. Now. It's what just, did I? This say? is 2018, Jerry. <laughs> did I say it wrong? <laughs> you said it. Nagger. Yeah. You said Nagger. it. Yeah, make America great again, why don't you? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't your best work on a uh, name pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, I'd go back to Sweeters. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's a podcast. Sean, you got some work to do. Sweet. Which one's the only it's, one you get right? It's Sweet Hirsch. All right. Arnold, Schwar Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, thank you. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's Dutch. That's the uh, official that. pronunciation from Microsoft. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Apple. I, Apple. I, I honestly did not mean <laughs> anything by that. I just that's how I say. I've always said his name. I, I thought that was real. Well, I wasn't it, trying to be an asshole. I oh. didn't think you were. We're just laughing because no. we think it was an accident. Yeah, it was a, the, it's because it was an accident. That it was funny. I'm I, well. You're I'm, not. A, you're not a jerk face in real life. Apologize? I am not a jerk face. Yeah. What? You're gonna apologize? Fuck no! I'm not gonna apologize <laughs> for shit. I didn't do anything yeah. wrong. The liberal side of me yeah, wants an apology. He can pronounce yeah. half the name <laughs> really. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> the, 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 the Nike ad. Yeah. yeah. The liberal yeah. side of me can't even fucking read. You know what I mean? Like, and there and there's no conservative side. So Jesus Christ, we're fucked, guys. I say we go back and start. Start this show over, and we all take a knee while it's going on. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, for the opening song. Hello, everybody. You win. Oh God! Yeah, you I'm won. Jared Reddick. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a podcast. This is only during. God the damn it, Lex! Movies. You don't like America. <laughs> Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This Wait, is this movie really commentary with yeah, no movie really. knowledge. This no, committed. we're not really. Oh, I thought you were committing to the bit. Uh, I was committing to the bit as long as like as somebody did wasn't going, is this really happening? Got it. Oh, I was going to let it go, but he said Thank you. Yeah. No, that's fine. I get you two mixed up in the mic, but I'm glad you're both Okay, listen, you did it, it, it's over, okay? There let's, we go. Let's move on. All right, Carl Weathers is in this. <laughs> uh, uh, now, he's fucking Apollo Creed. Yes. Who is a yeah. bad mother? Talk about typecasted i can't see him agree and not see apollo creed no, yeah but you know what they, they make him a fucking weasel in this he's like a cia holding his little close to the vest information fucking weasel but even when you he know, talks to like jesse ventura in the plane he's like you got a bad habit like that was apollo creed well he just 100%. spit on his shoe for crazy yeah but a fucking tobacco stuff on his 
You know? The, the real Apollo Creed would have snapped a jab in that mother. Just, best. <laughs> I can yeah. only see him as Lando Calrissian. But Be- that's just that's what I see him Holy shit. That's what what the, the Reed fuck Reed just <laughs> happened? Oh, I thought we were all being Rich, racist. You need to leave. God damn it. Rich, Rich you need to leave the only... evil empire, dude. <laughs> this, this is the reading thing. rainbow yeah. guy? Holy shit. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, close, dude. Roadhouse. He's Chubbs, everybody. He's Chubbs. Rich is combining his movies. Oh, God. All right, guys. Him. We will defeat the Predator. Now, uh, oh. the, the uh, award-winning actor in this movie, to me, the guy who makes the whole fucking movie, not joking, Bill the saving Duke. guy. Bill Duke. Mac. He's the saving the, guy? Yeah, he's yes. the no, best. No, dude, Billy's, Billy's, the, you know. I love Billy. His acting wasn't saw, great, though. I if, love Billy. Because he's the same guy in every movie. He's the same guy he was in 48 Hours. Oh, yeah. he was in 48 Hours? Yeah. Holy shit, he was. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah, I'm a movie geek. I'm sorry. No, 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 we it. are too. But yeah. that's great. And, and I'm actually your generation of movie yeah. geek. And I knew I knew him from somewhere. I thought that Billy, like the, the tracking thing, all of that was kick-ass. Bill, but, but Mac, Mac to Mac. me... Yeah, Just, Mac, in a, when he's like, well, I'm going to get the, I'm going to carve up his fucking in his When stomach. he <laughs> looks at him and he yeah. says, he, when he looks at him and he goes, you better not be ghosting us. If he goes, us, I'm going to kick you out. I'm yeah. going to leave you there. That's fucking great acting. <laughs> this sweat is amazing. Yeah, they fucking oh, sweat. I, yeah, they, I got to tell you, though, if I was on the plane with those guys, you know, I'd be fucking with him nonstop. It's like, hey, you want to have another razor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, worst Please actor. Tell me you brought your toothbrush. Worst actor uh, uh, award goes to Jesse the Body Ventura. No. Uh, <laughs> Governor Jesse horrible. the Body Ventura. He doesn't have time for acting class. Horrible. Jesus Christ, he's terrible. He plays Blaine. I uh, love the character, love the meanness or whatever, but Jesus, he could not act his way out of a box. But he doesn't have time to believe. Uh, Shane Black plays Hawkins. That's the only guy that you ever put on. You didn't put... Um, the uh, the guy from Forty Eight Hours on here, so I'm not going to say anything. Oh, I didn't. He was. You didn't put Sonny uh, Landham on there. He wasn't on the list, or he was way down, and I missed him. Now That's here's like, the thing. So you're saying Shane Black, who played Hawkins, mm-hmm. wrote all of these movies? Yes. So what? Shane Shane Black, who played the character Hawkins in this movie, wrote. Here it comes. Lethal Weapon. The Last Boy Scout. Last Action Hero. The Long Kiss Goodnight, Kiss Kiss Kiss, kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man Three, mm-hmm. The Nice ga- Guys, and then the new Predator. And the new the Predator new one. coming out. Do we need a new Predator? Yeah. Yes. It looks awesome though. Yes, I like all of the movies. Not an Alien versus Predator though. You guys yeah. want to hear no, this, a? Uh, this one's supposed to be like zany and funny and dirty. Right. This know. one that we just watched is fucking funny. Now let me ask you guys this. <laughs> You guys want to hear a Toy Story story? Yeah. So, like, when I had the... Uh, Once again, I took this one seriously. I had the... Funny no, thing. keep going. <laughs> yeah. I uh, So, uh, Lex, I don't know if you know this, but I, I started a toy store with my girlfriend's dad when I was 17. So, I had a, a toy store. Not his for, current girlfriend. That's not about, my yeah. current. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have any... Gr- yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. It's very rude. Well, the girlfriends <laughs> I have now, yeah. we don't talk about on the podcast. Yeah. So, um... But I, so what would happen was you would go to the toy show at the World Trade Center or whatever, and you walk into these rooms or whatever, and like Mattel would try to like just sell you, like, okay, here's what you're getting the inside scoop. Like, you can see a section of this movie, and like, we're going to sell you all these, these action figures and all this shit. And I actually went into, I, I know it was Mattel. It might have been Kenner, but at the same time, I think they were the same company. And I went in, and they're like, there's this movie. It's called The Last Action Hero. I love that movie. It's going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. (laughs) (laughs) Take your time. Best movie ever. (laughs) And I just go, I I swear to God, it's a true story. I just went, nope. (laughs) And I walked out. Good call. That was it. (laughs) And I did not buy their shit. So that was me being a fucking courageous businessman. Then I got burned on the fucking fake uh, Power Rangers. Uh, that's a whole different story. I heard about that little job you pulled off in Berlin. Very nice, Dutch. Good old days. Yeah, like the good old days. Then how come you passed on Libya, huh? Oh, that wasn't my style. You got no style, Dutch. You know that. Come on. Why'd you pass? We a rescue team, not assassins. Now, what do we got to do? 
That cabinet minister is very important to our scope school. of operations in this part of the world. Dutch, the general's saying that a couple of our friends are about to get squeezed, and we can't let that happen. We need the best. That's why you're here. Go on. None Simple set. Actors, One day operation. We pick up their trailer at the chopper, run them down, grab those hostages, and bounce back across the border before anybody knows we were there. What do you mean, we? I'm going in with you, Dutch. General, my team always works alone. You know that. I'm afraid we all have our orders, Major. Couple of things here before we get into this scene. Holy shit. Take an acting sh- class. Shit, is oh. he a terrible fucking actor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you know what is crazy? <laughs> is that he's there with like seasoned actor Carl Weathers, right? Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. Apollo Creed. And hold, he makes. Wait, wait, hold on. He makes him Season look like actor. a bad actor. I don't know. I mean, he was fucking pretty good. <laughs> he was good a football in, player. Well, he was pretty good in Rocky. Pretty yeah. goddamn here's good. My, here's my theory on the bad acting situation here. Lines, I feel like after, and if we could have put it in a clip, we would have, but there wasn't, you know, a lot of. Like word dialogue. Attached. Yeah, there was a lot of dialogue. If we could have put the thing where they shook hands and just like flex, so that's what like, I was getting at. I, I and did an above did the ground right. arm wrestle. I was getting that like <laughs> arm wrestling from there. Arm wrestling without a table. Sometimes, Jared, you know, like you have a, a the Matt, it's the Matt Castle theory, right? You know, like if you're if you're on the Patriots, you're pretty fucking good. You yeah. go to the other thirty one teams, you suck balls, right? And it's a uh, you know it's, if you have a good director, you Jesus. know which Rocky obviously did. It was yeah. a Let welter. me ask you this, though. Did you think it was a bad thing for Kansas City to bring him in? Gosh. I didn't. What is? What are we talking about? Like because Matt Castle from went from the Patriots to Kansas City. Was this hockey? It's a, it's a Game of Thrones thing, Rich. Football. I, yeah. I don't think that was a bad move by them. He just didn't. Fight. But you know, then they got into this. He was this, okay. But, they you went know. into the system though of getting these dudes that used to be good, and they fucking fight or or that that showed a a uh, what? He was pretty fucking terrible in Dallas, though. Why are you just pointing at me? I didn't point. Stop at you. fucking. Doing I, I went like this. What does that mean? You're gonna cut it out? Oh. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, I need some control over what. You're <laughs> Here's the thing, Lex. Let me tell you yeah. this. I, let I me do, show you how this is done. I do You're this, fired, Rick. I, <laughs> I do this show. I'm in here. My job is to like keep the show going, be hilarious the whole time, no, make it does interesting. Everything with, else, and then and Rick's Rich, job is to fuck all that up. up. Yeah, the outtakes. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, got it. All right, so <laughs> we'll get off the Matt Castle conversation. But you we'll get why back you into this. In charge of like you can't have any say in like the editing. Why? Because you don't listen to the show. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. I've actually never heard. You're of like the Lex of Lex and Terry. There you know we go. I mean? it's like, so I do so whatever you want. To here's argue. back to my couple of things. I was gonna say, you can't arm wrestle without a table. Yeah, that's to me. That should all you do is extend your arm and you fucking won. Yeah, you just no, do this you could, and you're. Yeah. You could do underneath. Like. That's Jared it. does these two things whenever he's drunk. I mean, he does a lot of things when he's drunk. I bet he does. Text the, me the, I, I find endearing. I think it's super cute. But he likes to arm wrestle girls. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> do you win? And yeah. he likes to show them that they have the same size hands, and the drunk girl always goes, holy shit, yeah. but they don't. He just puts the hand it's at the, the top of their it's hand. It's the greatest <laughs> bit <laughs> ever. I could do it, like, I do it all so the time. I you just like, put your I fingertips like, on their fingertips? That's it. I bet, like, 20 people are listening to this being like, are we really fucking not hand twins? Right. Like, that's no, it's... <laughs> But it's but so arm conversational. Wow, we're it. but it's maybe conversational. You maybe you should try to arm wrestle them without the table next time. Right, and then but they I, would, but they might win. Now, uh, the other thing is the helicopter conversation. Jesus Christ, with the mm-hmm. guy. So you don't find out later till till the one dude is trying to make the tracker guy laugh all the time with these right, pussy right. jokes. Right, and I thought. That the pussy joke the was first, actually really funny. The first funny. pussy joke was really good. I thought it was really yeah. funny. Yeah. I thought yeah. the second one was funnier because funny... it was so awkwardly delivered. <laughs> yes, it was good. Yeah, the second, I, one I was, the second one was funny, but the first one was actually a better joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Agreed. What was it? it the was, Echo one? So, no, yeah, no, 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 no that's the second, second one. one. Oh, okay. No, the first one was about the, the tighter, what was the, It was about a house, right? Uh, he said it, she, he had like, a big one. It was like the size of a house. Yeah, you know, pussy is the size of a house. And then the the punchline was something about... Being tight or something like that, but it was it was funny at the time. Yeah, <laughs> this is amazing radio, Lex. Yeah. I yeah. see how you guys have done this for 70, thirty fucking years. Chat room, Google oh, the joke. Uh, you want to hear my notes? Yeah, 
Love the little pussy joke. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make that into a T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Yeah. I'd wear that's, it. That's, that's, you know what Jarrett's notes look like? Joke with X two exclamation marks. I've actually seen his notes. I watch him while he types them, and they're funny. Here's yeah. some of my serious notes, just so they can laugh at me when I leave. Uh, upon landing, director does a great job at letting you know these elites know something's a little bit off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we're getting into yeah. like plot and shit. Yeah. We're not even there yet, Lex. Yeah. I was going to say again. No, no, no. We are. This is, no, this this is, is the right helicopter just landing. I know. Ned, Ned says tension between Weathers and Arnold is built slowly as they find. As they find uh, stripped uh, body. Oh, no, we're not there yet. No, right. No, yeah, That's what I'm saying. Right. Don't get ahead because Rich okay. will cut this. Okay. <laughs> I will. Now, how yeah. about this soundtrack? I mean, as they're walking through this jungle, it's like Gilligan's Island. It's like... Dum, <laughs> dum, dum, it dum, is. Dum, it's dum, like dum, that. Dum, it's the Brady Bunch with the tiki. Ah, the tiki! It is. Hawaii. Like cursed tiki in oh. Hawaii. Remember it was the, that the, Brady the, Bunch? The double episode. episode. Literally, they're walking. Oh, that, was, that was the Jump the Shark episode of the Brady Bunch. That was, yeah. that was yeah. when you knew it was over, the double vacation episode. Yeah. And then they stop and he goes... Ding. Not to be confused with <laughs> quintessential Brady with Marsha taking a, a football in the face. That was the best one. Yeah. The best. They made that a whole movie, movie about yeah. it. There you go. When Marsha Brady got hit in the face with the football. Oh, yeah, that was oh, the, my nose. Man. Oh, my nose. I, I, I actually agree with that, but I will. I, I think <laughs> I think I do have a, a better episode than that in my head. I think mom always said, don't play ball in the house. No, was the cold equally voice. as important. The cold voice, the, the the song, where he gets the cold and he gets the little squeaky voice and he makes. Oh, when it's time to change, <laughs> yeah, it's that. time well, to. Man, there is the singing episode. You got to keep on, keep on, <laughs> yeah. keep on. Well, how about when uh, when Peter wanted to have a new personality? Fuck it. So Let's he came the down. Bunch. Oh, so hold on. <laughs> Peter came down and he and he wanted a new personality. She goes, Alice, wash for dinner. And she's like, pork chops, pork chops and apple sauce. Pork, we're having pork chops yeah. and apple sauce. Yeah, all I, ever did was, all I ever said to Peter at my TV, it's like, you're the middle child. Nobody fucking cares about you, okay? Yeah, just... You have yeah. him on the show? Go ahead and start doing the, the drugs yeah. now. Did you guys have him on the show? No. It's the middle child. We didn't want him. <laughs> right. Even to the TV, like... Yes. That's no, but didn't you know, he, he and Jan? They can go fuck themselves. Didn't they Peter really get on to, like, reality TV and stuff? And yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, there were some people life confuse and... him and uh, Willie Ames. <laughs> and, uh, enough. Willie Ames, yeah. who went on to oh my god, one yeah. of my favorite character transitions of all time. Willie Ames uh, went on from Eight Is Enough, being Tommy on Eight Is Enough, mm -hmm. and then he went on to Charles in Charge. Mm -hmm. It's the what I call the Ross transformation. He's what, dead now, right? What Willie Ames now? No. Oh. Uh, Willie Ames on Charles in Charge mm -hmm. was like this player. Like the first year, he was like this yeah. cool yeah. dude player, or whatever. And then they just rossed the shit out of him mm -hmm. and just made him stupid. They do that yeah. all the time. I hate when they do that. And then he would just be like, "Well, blah, 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 blah. you have to admit it was fucking funny as shit, though. What when he got stupid? It 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 bettered the Charles show. in charge. Yes, I know. No, it was that hilarious did. that he was an idiot. All we wanted to do was hey, Nicole Hollywood Eggert called. underage, but well, I was underage. In charge. What movie are we recording again? Are we doing? Forgot. Sweet cheeks, stay <laughs> the fuck the out of this. We're the Brady movie. We're, we're about to talk about RuPaul. the Brady Bunch Ignore. movie, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. We should do that movie. How does <laughs> if each got one round in the head? Whoever hit it stripped the shit out of it. Took him out with a heat seeker. There's something else, Major. Hmm? This is no ordinary army taxi. It looks more like a surveillance bird to me. Pick up the trail yet? Billy's on it. Heat seeker, Dylan. That's pretty sophisticated for a bunch of half ass mountain boys. Major! I guess they're getting better equipped every day. There were 12 gorillas. They took the two men from the helicopter. But there's something else. What do you mean? Six men wearing U.S. issued army boots. They came in from the north, and then they followed the gorillas. Mean anything to you? Well, they're just another rebel patrol. They operate here all the time. Get ahead and see what he can find. Yes. Now, I just noticed something. 
Sonny kind of sounds like Andrew Dice Clay a little bit. Now I only <laughs> see that guy. Uh, well, gorillas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I only see that dude yeah. as the guy from 48 Hours. Yeah. I'm sorry. It No, it's amazing though, because he's so big and scary in that. Yeah, I know, he but was. he wasn't as scary as Gans was in 48 Hours. Oh, my God. Gans what? Was- that shirt, no, that, the net. I don't shirt. believe it. Unbelievable. <laughs> now, hey. Casey, hold on. Here's the thing. So we go, we stumble upon these bodies. They're hanging from a tree. Yeah, like a like a, a and, Mexican meat market. And they're and skinned. I told, and, and I told Jared a fun fact about the scene. Well, no. Then Casey had, as she always does, the best fucking joke of the whole goddamn night. Do you remember what you said? Of course, I know what I said. Okay, good. That this was the original Body Worlds exhibit that they started in Vietnam. <laughs> Everybody thinks that that guy was in Germany originally, but he did take a small two year break to start his Jared's opening rainforest opening. first exhibit. Okay. Other jokes that would have been accepted was <laughs> finally some hung meat in this house. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought this was Vietnam. The whole time. I guess I should have known from her, but she's not Vietnamese scope. or anything. I just think the funny thing about this is they make it South America. I thought it was Vietnam, but too. it's because it's 1987. Right? Yeah. Because it's 1987. Everything they, was Vietnam. The, 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 oh, yeah. uh, oh, good, good yeah. job. They <laughs> have to. Uh, that's called branding. Hold on, because it's 1987. Yo, trust me, he's branded through the entire three years of this podcast. <laughs> they they them, have they to them, in- they murder them. <laughs> <laughs> 19. <laughs> because it's just the time, it just Russians have to be involved, right? Yeah. So, like, the whole time. But just, why is it? Since, the, I thought it was Vietnam. The, I they thought even, they were crossing over from Cambodia or yeah, something. It's, it's got to be the time. Yeah, yeah, and like the Viet Cong and all this it's stuff. It's got to be the time. I thought she Man, was. They even hacked into our movies 30 years ago. <laughs> I mean, I can see that she's. I can see that she's Latina. But I, it, she could easily be um, Asian too. I think. Yeah. So what I did was, you think about the side boot? Um. Sure. Oh, is that coming up? That's coming up. God damn it! Sorry Jake's for uh, now. Um. So, <laughs> it, it, my notes say Casey makes amazing bodies joke. That was fucking. <laughs> Does that now, exclamation marks? Now, so the Predator, the Wasn't first time... Funny. Mine the, says, somebody needs to make a body's joke, so she took care of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew it. So, now, the I Predator, made one that said, cured meat hanging in the jungle. Or the really? Predator sees them for the first time, and it's like they're going through that thing at the airport where we don't want them to see our junk, right. yep, yep. You know, and nobody wants to see that. But mm-hmm. if you don't go through that thing, they stick their finger up your butt. Do you worry about them seeing your penis? I don't thing? give a shit, actually. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think about that? People think about it. Like, I people think don't, about it. don't want to see the boobs. <laughs> but you can't see it. I mean, it. when I go, like, I don't want them seeing mine. So but I, you can't see it, though. You're ding ding? You can't cover it's it up. It's not HD. They can tuck it in. No. Oh. Well, I wear tight underwear now. <laughs> because I had to start wearing tight are, underwear. Are you doing the pocket underwear? Pocket underwear. Yeah, the junk pocket underwear. Our buddy is a chiropractor. Kinda. And he, so I went Kinda. to him a few times and he did, like, an x-ray on me and I was like, Okay, just because we're friends, I have to ask. Can you see that I have fake boobs? He's like, yes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I know. Now but I need to talk to you about that fake penis. Well, because I always, they always ask if you had any surgeries, and I'm like, yeah. I don't really see how that's relevant for this cold. But I'm like, they're like, mm-hmm, no fucking surgeries, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he knew not from the X-ray. Oh. Just because he knew me over time. <laughs> well, Fucking it's the doctor this. check. <laughs> uh, oh, tune in Tokyo. Come on, let's flex. I know these men. Green parades out of Fort Bragg. Now, what the hell were they doing here? I don't know, Dutch. This is inhuman. Nobody told me there was an operation in this area. They shouldn't have been here. Somebody sent them. The gorilla skinned them? Why did they skin them? Ain't no way for no soldier to die. What happened here, Billy? Strange, Major. There was a firefight. They were shooting in all directions. Can't believe that Jim Harper walked in an ambush. I don't believe he did. 
I can't find a single track. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, so, and it wouldn't, because there's just people hung up like beef jerky, <laughs> right? And uh, they're... Um, Do you know where Fort Bragg is? Uh, is it possible that they could have gotten some rain in the rainforest? <laughs> Now you you know, know, it doesn't rain track. all I mean, the time. I mean, did we go back and look at the weather that it could have washed tracks and shit like that away? Now, just a <laughs> they do. I would have brought agreed. Up. I mean, and but <laughs> as they stumble into this this <laughs> camp, there, finally, right? like finally they get back on their mission. Now, and by the way, this last scene is when we discover that Lex is right. Carl Weathers is not a seasoned actor, <laughs> uh, even though he was Apollo Creed. Yeah. Um, I mean, how good do you have to be to get punched in the face all the time? I don't. I thought he was pretty good. I really, I do. I think him. I think him and Rocky. I was terrified of him as a child. Dude, a good director could make any one of us look like a good actor. Do you think so? Because I've been in movies. I have been in movies, and I wonder if you're right because I've seen. Because all your movies had bad directors. (laughs) Okay. I was just. I've been I thought in, that's where you were going. I don't know. I've been in a fucking Wes Craven movie. <laughs> so shit. you look like you've been in a Wes Craven. No. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, <laughs> Lex turned on you, he dude. Turned on you. He fucking turned on you. I don't well, know. Well, no, I get. I, listen, I take I any setup. I get it. It could be. Yeah, <laughs> it's a volley. It's a volley. Yeah. So they they, been st- pool guy. they he, stumbled he, on this thing. Your mom is in a movie. The one thing that I did not expect <laughs> is when they get into the hostage camp or whatever, and they come up there, and they come over the fence or whatever, and they look, and the Russian guy, who, A, shouldn't even be there at South America, this is stupid, yeah. but just walks up to the guy, kicks him in the face, and then just shoots him in the fucking head. Yeah. I mean, you can't no just reason. shoot me. You have to kick me in the face first. Yeah. What right. an He's, asshole. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> Here's a sample. <laughs> Make sure you have no dignity yeah. by the end of this. No fucking reason whatsoever. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, you want to see what a dick I am? I'm going to hurt you, then kill you. <laughs> right. <laughs> just fucking pee on me, for Christ's sake. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, good one. I thought one of the. I, oh, my, I think my favorite <laughs> scene. I think my favorite scene that of Arnold in this and he's not my favorite part of this was movie. Was the credits? <laughs> <laughs> was when the truck. So he comes out there here and he he sees that the truck is basically running the generator. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he does is he cuts the belt and th- and there'd be no way that they would know that that was happening cuz that wouldn't stop whatever that belt was fucking doing. Right. Making the truck move. And then he goddamn lifts the truck up and puts a bomb in it and just shoves it down there, right? All right. Here's and my... then everything blows up. Everything. They're there to fucking rescue hostages. And they blow up everything. <laughs> everything is blowing up. Yeah, not not exactly having their safety in mind. By, no, by, by any stretch of the mm-hmm. imagination, and it's not like you don't know where the hostages are going to be moved, but you're blowing the whole fucking yeah, place they, up. They exactly. couldn't wait till yeah. it was dark and sneaking. The goddamn yeah. gun battles here are hilarious. Hilarious. There's one where, are so they're just like bullets Grenades and just spraying yada yada. Just- but there's one where <laughs> where Arnold Swear- and it happens really quick, and you'd have to watch it again to see it. But there's one where he just goes. Like that, like that's it, and then three dudes just appear and just die. <laughs> yeah, it's like the it's like the uh, Harlem Globetrotters against the generals. <laughs> you, know, it, it, you, know, uh, you know, the elite soldiers yeah. against the shitty basketball players. You They're know like, who's hey, gonna let's win. Let's stand out in the open and just shoot. What the fuck? Yeah, you know yeah. who's gonna win, but it's entertaining yeah. as fuck to watch it. Yeah, you know, it's like they're gonna lose every gun battle for the rest of their lives. What did what did the guy yeah. shoot the? grenades at the top of the thing and he says I don't you know I don't have time to bleed but then oh yeah that's a great one that was a but good wh- one. why was he Hold doing on, that that's, that's like, not we're not to that oh, okay. point do you have time for acting school that was, <laughs> <it's Jesse Ventura. laughs> but here's the thing about that now, let's discuss that yeah because Jesse the body Ventura had been a wrestler for 20 years at this point he was an actor right yeah. they act yeah he should have been able to really pull this off you know, and I'll tell you this right now. You're you only guys, as good as your surrounding cast. You though. guys think that like the Rock is on top of the world, and I've called it. And Casey will tell you this. 
John Cena will be bigger than The Rock you think in so? Hollywood. 100%. Here's why. He's already crossed into comedy, and he's, he's really yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, he is. Like, that movie... Uh, so is The and Rock, he's though. Ferdinand, the really friendly the bull. Blockers. When they... Oh, this fucking movie, movie, Blockers. Have y'all seen this? I've oh, seen my God, it. it's it so good. good. Yeah, he it is, is so... Good. Did you like that movie? I thought that movie... Oh, my God. I'm with you. I thought it was so funny. I'm with you. He's good. He is so good in it. He's so good. And the the little Indian girl is... He's not terrible. But the movie wasn't great. The writing no. was awful. It but has like your it, favorite. What is? Who's the mom? I oh, thought Game Night uh, was the best. No, Are that's you your favorite. Jared? He was also right. in the who's Fred the mom? Movie? What? Who's the mom? Amy Mann? What? No, it's uh, what's his face's no, wife. Amy Mann's a singer. No, uh, Leslie Mann. Leslie Mann. Yeah, yeah, she's super hot. Amy Mann was yeah. in. Tilted she looks insane. nothing like a man. It's I, weird. And I'm, I like her so much. Now, do Wait, I have like, wife? Is she? Um, uh, Jed Apatow. Jed Apatow's yeah. yeah. Oh. Do I like her more than the Isla Fisher girl? You have different. No, oh, oh, come on, no, man. Come you on, have, man. But he's got on. a weird. Isla Fisher well, has boobs. Who did you out of those two? I guarantee you think so that Isla Fisher is hotter. Isla Fisher. But you have the weird thing yes. for the squeaky voice and the mom shit. Scarlett Johansson. By the way, P.S. Uh, Isla Fisher an though, looks older in the tag movie. They like. Uh, I don't know if they made her look older. She's still so hot. Was she in Wedding Crashers? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. She's the one. She's, She's like, I'll find you. Hey, have you seen her in um, the jo- Keeping Up with the Joneses? Yeah, she's pretty hot. Oh there, my god, she's no. so hot in that. But but she's also with uh, Wonder Woman in that. Did we movie. not watch that on the airplane? Was that not one of the movies we Could watched? Could be. I don't know. Oh, yeah, watch yeah, get, get the airplane. that man. Who? Uh, it was on a flight Ooh. back from England. I just didn't like it. <laughs> was my f- ready? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Stick around. Ah. Knock, knock. I like how when people get shot in this movie, they like do the signal from Team America, which is like. <laughs> <laughs> Their arms go crazy and they're just like, disco, disco before I fall down. All right. America. <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. So fuck Arnold yeah. has a writer <laughs> that he brings with him that writes these one liners in every movie he, that he's in. He What's always is that, has. Is that true? A, yes, that's true. What's his name? I don't I have no idea. Oh, okay. uh, all right. So I have some of the one liners. You ready to guess the movie? Sure. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. Uh, it's Terminator. Terminator. Right. Consider that a divorce. Um, true lies. Kindergarten cop. That's what I was thinking too. Uh, I can't true see lies. Anything. It's blue. Total recall. Oh. When he was lie. married to the girl that wasn't really married to him. That's right. I was trying to uh, totally Sharon Stone. Stone. Sharon Stone. Yeah. It's a terrible film. All right. It's not a tumor. Oh, that's. Uh, Jingle all the way. No, no it's, it's not where he's a pregnant. Tumor. Is it the pregnant one? Yeah, it's. Um, Somebody already said the movie. What? Kindergarten cop. Kindergarten cop. No, what's the one where he's pregnant? No, no, no. Oh, that's twins or... No, no he's um, pregnant. <laughs> he wasn't pregnant as his housekeeper um, was. I thought he was a... Junior, was junior, yeah. Yeah, but No, it's not a tumor. It's when he's in the class and he's like talking to the class and, and the kid was like, is it a tumor? And he, it's, <laughs> not, it's a a not a tumor. Um, all right, hasta la vista. Yeah, oh, that's Terminator. the biggest. Term- yeah. uh, Terminator. Two. Actually, two, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I let him go. Who gives a shit? That's Commando. Okay. I guess he let him drop movie. off the thing. Yeah. yeah Jesus Christ. Um, you've been erased. Uh, it's Eraser. 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 Yeah. And then... <laughs> I, would, I was going to actually yeah. guess. And, and was, these four yeah. are from one movie. Ready? Okay. He had to split what a hothead, what a pain in the neck, and let off some steam. That's the one with Danny DeVito, wasn't no. it? No, 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 no. That's Running Man. My yep, God. Running Man. You got it. Jared I'm, I'm Spear just, for the fucking win. I'm just looking at a Wait a minute, movie. And, and so are, you say, are you saying that one guy wrote all those he lines? He brings a writer with him to have to write these kind of one liners. He has them in every movie. Because he can't say anything else. You can't write them yourself? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm being serious. Like, he couldn't Seriously? be just like, you know what? I can't really actually read this. Like, if, if I'm looking at Carl Weathers and I'm like, this encyclopedia is not, god damn it, it's fucking hard to say. <laughs> what? Like, he can't say encyclopedia. Get to the chopper. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's one of my favorites, yeah. 
Asta la, v- Asta la Vista Baby was like the freaking theme song for every like yeah, little kid in the, every little kid in the nineties. Did, did I mean, y'all ever? Uh, can do... I just say I think we're close to the same age, so I know. Yeah. What you mean. Also, yeah, exactly. I think I'll be back is pretty. I mean, like, get to the chopper isn't even a thing for me, but I'll be back. No, I'll be Austrian back in Asta la Vista machine, Baby was whenever. Did y'all ever kid, prank call people that. with that? Like, I used to go on a soundboard, his soundboard, and call people and. Oh, I things. had that. Yeah, that, before that, that, that's, that was, a, that's the nine hundred numbers we used to do. <laughs> I had like Homer Simpson. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, that was the other thing that I loved yeah. from you guys was the Homer Simpson prank calls. Well, yeah, the I Bella, have the Bill O'Reilly ones. Those are my. Those are my favorite. I actually have a good one for you if you'd like to talk to him. We have a uh, friend. His name is Tim Tool. I was watching this movie and I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Do you have any questions you would like to ask him, Lex? Would you like to suck my dick? <laughs> Anal probe. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you like to suck my dick is what he leads with. Like, how do I top that? I'm a professional. I'm thinking, anal probe. so I'm just I like, robot I'm like, like yeah. fuck you, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite one. Hold on. It was an amazing movie, but I've never seen it before. I watched it this week. <laughs> By the way, that's from episode like eight or nine, something like that. It's one of, one of the first. Nobody ones. listened yeah. to those. Nothing before I like did. forty. Yeah. What is that one right there? <laughs> I recommend not listening before fifty, though. I agree. Yeah, I agree. So I think bad. actually, Damn it. I think the first forty-nine should just go away. They're I really so do. bad. I think the Matrix is amazing. I think it's, it's terrible. 49 <laughs> should all just go away. Oh, all right. man. We were so drunk on all of them. Yeah. So here's the thing. <laughs> Here what is about where, the duvet? Really the matters. duvet on episode 7? Come on. Here is where it did happen, that though. That comes back, too. Where he says to Jesse Ventura, he goes, you bleeding, man. He's like, I ain't got time to bleed. I know. <laughs> Yeah. What does that even mean? Yeah. yeah, that's not a time thing, Jesse. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, what the fuck is that? Right, nobody puts a stopwatch to bleed. And what is it that he calls the gun? It's just like the it's like the happy maker or some shit or whatever. If the I ain't got time to bleed thing was a relevant reference that people recognize, like that would be a viral meme in the mom community yeah, constantly. If that, if that <laughs> you know what I mean? If, like, if that oh line, my if, God. She's right. If that is line like would have come out reference? today, it'd be like, like a fucking... T-shirt. You know, yeah, T-shirt, <laughs> oh, a meme. A, Casey, that is fucking brilliant. Can we start I that? know. It on should be like it should be like on all the all the mom so fucking good. websites. I don't have time to bleed. Yeah, guess what? I don't have time to bleed. I got kids to raise. That's my next <laughs> tattoo. Right there. Oh my god! Oh god. Yeah. Hang on, you get on my period. You, get you don't have time Sunday. to bleed. Exactly. Oh, sorry. Goddamn jackpot! This is what we ever thought we'd get. Oh, we got those bastards. We got them. I think this is what you're looking for. You sell some! It's all bullshit! All of it! The cabinet minister, the whole business! Got us in here to do your dirty work. Look, we just stopped a major invasion, and three days later, been across the border with this stuff. Why us? Because nobody else could have pulled it off. You pissed about the cover story! I knew I couldn't get you in here without it! So, what story did you hand to Hapa? Look, we've been looking for this place for months. My men were in that chopper when it got hit! Hopper's orders were to go in and get my men, and he disappeared. He didn't disappear. He was skinned alive. And my orders were to get somebody and who could crack these bastards. So he cooked up a story and dropped the six of us in a meat grinder. Yes. Kiss what him. You <laughs> used to be somebody I could trust. I woke up. Why don't you? Did you feel that sexual tension? Now, a little bit. So yeah, those guys, those guys are going to bust so one bad. out, I think. In directing... All they were doing was saying, guys, Be don't, bad. don't try to act. Just say your lines as fast as you can, <laughs> right? Just as fast as you can, and we're going to pour things on you so it looks like you're sweating. <laughs> Here, here's, what, like here's, here's what I think exactly. happened. So, cut. You. <laughs> you. <laughs> they did not have that technology yeah. back then. Oh, okay. But I will say this: I, I actually you don't think, think it was real sweat. Like they didn't just like film yeah. this at Warp Tour. And I fucking... think that last line that he delivers <laughs> is good. I think when he goes, "I woke up," so should you. Like that was acting. Like it was like, oh shit, he fucking figured that out. 
He's woke. You know, he fucking woke up. Can I, think, I go? I think, think you were. I think so you were made drunk of the poor quality before, and that just looked like a good <laughs> idea. I may have been yeah. made drunk yeah. of something else. If Can I, I go to the, to the actual movie for a second? Oh, is it? He's a, that's what we were doing. That's what we're he's just a soldier, about, right? <laughs> Who? Arnold. Arnold is a major, but it's it's he's, he's a, a hired gun. He's like a but it's. But is he a soldier I or is think, he not a soldier? I think he's they're like the A-team. not to be talked special about. Forces. Correct. But he's a soldier. He was. He's supposed he's to not follow. not a soldier or, anymore. What are you it's getting It's a need-to-know need basis, Rich. I, I'm asking, is he a soldier Jesus or is he not a soldier? Christ. My he point is, if you're a soldier, you follow orders. It isn't, you don't have a decision. Guess he's what? This, this guy point. isn't his fucking... It doesn't matter. It isn't over him. It doesn't it's matter. The general that told him to go, that's his orders. You don't ask. You just do. Hold on. Hold on. He's a mercenary. No, but the dude over... The dude that gave him the order, the order wasn't even his boss. Also, let me just say this. If he's a general, it's he's... He's his boss. Listen to me. That's how it works. That guy's not a general. No, the, the other guy was a general said, that said, go do this. Once you find the hostages, he's in charge. Okay? Right. But goddamn, they found the hostages dead. Then they killed the rest and of them. And also, this guy's a fucking asshole. And he's CIA. Doesn't Fuck matter. Him. Doesn't matter. Uh, you do the, if you're Rich. a soldier, you do what no, you're Rich, ordered to the, do. Rich, the whole premise of this is. is this guy is now a CIA tightwad asshole that knows everything that's going on. He knows about this alien. Exactly. He knows about all this shit. Thank you, a, Lex. Because there's a part later on in the movie where the girl uh, talks about all these stories of right. where she lives, of by, finding skin body. You know, this thing's been coming to the planet, the, the hunt. Hunter, she, you know, the hunter, he knew yeah. about it the whole time. Okay, I come from an army family. You follow it, fucking orders. It doesn't matter. But here's not the when thing. you're out of the army. They bring. Not they, the CIA. He, 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 I'm he asking showed, you. I'm asking you. Is he in shirt. the army or is he not in the army I, right now? He's in the A team. <laughs> Dude, he showed up in a red polo shirt. He was out of uniform. Uh, that he, was, he was a hired gun. Are they're you, hired okay, guns. if they're hired guns, you've been hired to do a job. Shut the fuck up. Oh, so there's no right answer. No, this is a movie. Bro. What are they? Sp- hold on, but yeah, what but are you, they? You've been to hired on are... the premise of you haven't been told the really Nothing. bad shit you're being sent in. Also, they're sending there to rescue some people who don't fucking matter. You know, like oh, these people hostages. don't matter. No, 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 that's people not People don't matter. Oh, Rich. Jesus Christ! Rich. <laughs> By the way, Rich, Lex, be like me calling you up and saying, comment. "Let's uh-huh. go to the lake for the oh, weekend." You, okay. And we go to the lake, but it's a lake full of diarrhea and shit. And I didn't tell you, Lake that. Lewisville. Right. Yeah. God damn it, Woody! All right, I'll take Woody's. There you go. Comment. Who the? F- what did Woody say? He's in the army. He says he's in the marine. He's a right? soldier, special forces, but he took orders from a CA operative. That was an unlawful order due to them giving falsified information. That's correct. That's what I said. Yeah. That's pretty close. Okay. Well, I'm not yeah. taking it from you. By the way, Lex. <laughs> I'll Lex, take it from Woody. Give a <laughs> shout out to Woody Chambers. Woody Chambers about to be in his third deployment. Woody. Every time you release an album, which you are, Kelly yeah. and Thank Jerry you for your Kelly. service, my yeah. friend. Yeah, dude. And he is the fucking best. That's the guy. shit right there, man. Absolutely. Woody is the man. Yes, Thank you is. for protecting our he country. Is. We appreciate you guys. And he fires nuclear warheads at people or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're bleeding, man. He talked yeah. about it last week. Woody doesn't have time to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they spit that out. <laughs> Deployment. This is great for the audience. This looks like a Buggles video. Okay. It's like a soundtrack now, to a Rob Zombie movie. I have never <laughs> performed, by, performed by Skrillex. Yeah. I have never done acid, but if you watch this on acid, would you just be freaking I'm the sorry, fuck but out? It would, this, it, would, it would kill you. This looks like the worst form of visual sensory input that I can think of. Yeah. Complimentary there's, colors. There's That's zero good. depth perception. It's infrared. He'd run into every single tree in the forest. Trees aren't hot. If I was Klaus Mine and Rudy Shanker, I'd want it on my next scorpion. Ladies and gentlemen, a scorpion's <laughs> joke. It never happens. Hey, yo. Yeah. Big city. Now, here's the thing. There's this is where like this is where the the pussy echo joke happens. And I do have to say that uh, 
I actually had heard this joke before, but presented differently when I found a porno called Never So Deep in my dad's closet. And in watched it on closet. and closet. I watched it on VHS. And in fifth grade I showed it showed it to Stevie you Morgan. You said shoved it. Where'd nah, you shove yeah, it? Yeah, where'd you shove it? Guys I've been drinking. God damn it, sweet pants. Shut the fuck what? up. What is VHS? So I v- Are you sweet pants? Uh, it's a uh, no. it's a whole thing. Anyway, so I put this porno in. Mm-hmm. And St- poor Stevie Morgan was completely <laughs> freaked out. Guy. He called his mom and fucking went home. I'm not joking. Because, like, Did it was like penetra- No, he didn't. He's probably still fucked up about but that. But anyway, here's the yeah. about, I don't know. I, he's I, like raping women in his no, basement he's, right now. Yeah, he's actually in prison. <laughs> oh my God, Jared. Yeah, I, I'm kidding. He's oh, not that's fucking not okay, I want to go back. Just I a haven't little bit. finished. I have but to correct they, something. They, it's Woody's. Tenth, tenth. That's I, what I, I was, was going to say. say that. All right. I was going to say the same thing. Woody, thank you so very much for your service. Now, can I carry on with this fucking pussy joke? Yes. And by the way, you were amazing in Toy Story. And thank you. here's the. <laughs> so here's the thing. So uh, in the movie, they're trying to figure out where this girl who basically. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this guy is eating out this girl, and it's like super. It's porno. And he just That's... goes, he just goes, what a big cunt. <laughs> and then it goes, what a big cunt. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, well, you didn't have to say it twice. <laughs> but here's where the comedy comes in. He goes, hey, I only said it once, 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 once. Like, yeah. <laughs> the, like the whole, the whole delay is completely different. Like the first time it only repeated once, right, right, right. but the second time it's like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Watch Never So Deep. Uh, he's never so deep. Okay. Yeah, poor Stevie Morgan. I'm sorry about that. Now, um, the predator finds the dead scorpion here. Uh, you know. It's again. It, it just feels like you're an acid, and also like, <laughs> is a scorpion like a warm-blooded animal anyway? Like, well, it's dead. He, it's not going to be that warm. It anyway. wouldn't be able to see it. That's fucked up. Did you and, hear how they did this? That's not what an acid trip is like. How they did the? <laughs> Are you serious? Because I've never done it. Here's the thing that I've been wanting to do. <laughs> you never done acid? I've Two never times. done any oh. drugs. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Good, no, good. I I've smoked pot. Uh, well, that's not a drug. I smoked pot three times. Okay. That's your it. dick's so getting that's bigger. That's it. That's it. What? Your dick's getting bigger. It is definitely not. I've gotten fatter. <laughs> it gets smaller. It's weird. It's like the fatter I get, the more of an any I have, belly button and penis wise. It's Jesus. fucking crazy. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. I feel so bad. I've done like everything. I, I'm yeah. with you on that. No, yeah. I fucking let. That's why we're friends now, Lex. Let's Hi, fucking internet go world. experience. Yes, I've done drugs. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, now's the time. Yeah. Up there. <laughs> right, yeah. father right, of right three. Right before the kindergarten watch. Anyway, yeah, you're right. anyway, anyway, I don't do that, that anymore. Time. Do you want to go outside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today's your day. Fucking seize yeah. it. <laughs> now, this Spanish chick, you knew this was going to be a liability, right? Like, why does he have to bring her? But she's got to have an impact to the movie. A pussy. Side boob. That's my shot. She gives information for predators. Well, for one thing, a girl with shaved legs in the middle of the jungle is a com- commodity. <laughs> I don't even do that shit. You know I live mean? in suburbia, and yeah. I take yeah, was six she, baths a day. Was she the camp whore? Is I'm that actually, what's going I'm, on? I don't I'm, know. I don't know, but she had like, like she had lotioned skin and nice tan. And, I'm actually you know I mean? not joking. Well, she's Hispanic. I yeah. think what Lex hair. just said is the fucking best thing that's ever been said on this podcast. <laughs> ever. I am Thank not you. joking. Roadhouse. He said that a girl in the middle of the jungle, the South American desert with shaved legs, is a commodity. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? She might that is a good goddamn joke. <laughs> then again, she might just have that thing that you got going on right oh, so, that's oh, true. so oh, like maybe she's indian treatment? no you that's don't know I thought, I you don't know this about me so i grew up native american i was told <laughs> my whole life i was native american i people showed me paperwork I some saw people photos american indian uh some people don't okay that's fine please Whatever. tell me your indian name wasn't bowling for soup <laughs> well, interestingly That's enough, fucking good. No, it was actually sorry. That's was, fucking really good. It was actually two dogs fucking. But um, oh yeah, <laughs> I knew him. Yeah. So I did twenty three in me this last December, right? I find out. No, I'm ninety nine point nine percent English. <laughs> <laughs> 
point one percent. Dude, I look at you and I see an English dude. It's no, that's not true. Yeah, I don't grow any hair on my body. And then here's the thing: his mom isn't even his mom. If I saw a picture of you and they're like, "What nationality is this guy?" I'd go, "Oh, uh, he's you know, like Cockney or something." Are you serious? Oh, that's absolutely. That's just because of my oh, hair. Though. His, yeah, his and, mom and, goes, and I'm being a dick right his now. His mom goes, "I have pictures of your great grandparents on the reservation." I'm like. You know they're fucking just buying Maybe they were just right? Curing, you know? <laughs> yeah, he made s- reservations at St. Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I <laughs> force them. My whole life, I don't grow hair on my arms or my legs. I've ne- I don't get sunburned. Like I full I, head of hair. I have 46. Full head of hair. Like I'm 46. All this shit, right? So I do this 23 in me. I find out I'm not Native American, right? Got my first fucking sunburn. <laughs> He like goes off to golf, and I'm like, "Come here, white boy. We gotta fucking do yeah, this now." Yeah, exactly. They Today's gotta put it all day. on me. I'm worried. I'm gonna grow hair on my arms now because I found out I'm not Native American. Now I sit crisscross applesauce. It was placebo. <laughs> 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 you know. <laughs> I mean, God, it's there's like, so many jokes here. Sometimes, <laughs> so many sometimes fucking jokes. He can't sometimes, catch his dreams anymore. Sometimes they just go I, right through him. Sometimes I give somebody something and I want it back. I'm a Caucasian giver. <laughs> You know, uh, you're so laughing. It's happens. amazing. <laughs> I love your. He's laugh. been doing it for quite a while. You're just being That's nice because you're gonna go fuck my chick <laughs> and clean my pool. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Que pasó, mujer? Mujer, que pasó? Que fue lo que viste? Quién fue? Dime, mujer. Quién fue? Dime. Selva, la selva se lo llevó. Qué? No sé. No estoy segura. No sé. She says the jungle. It just came alive and took him. Bullshit! It's not what she said. What she said doesn't make any sense. Look, those sappers have been following us ever since. Have they been in front of us, man? But this woman's just running up to him. I should have waited. This woman's been running up right to him. They've been in front of him. Why didn't they take his radio or his weapon? Why didn't she escape? Hopper. What? They did the same thing to Jim Hopper. Why is this strange? How does anybody <laughs> understand him? Why can she speak only Spanish now and English fine later? Well, Jared, that is a fucking reveal. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Jared. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You would think I know that. I'm well, she was pretending like... <laughs> no, put the she's she's the pretending simple. like she doesn't speak English until... Yeah, he either. kind of forces it out of her. And so that's then. my like, shame. Like, there's some torture shit going yeah. on? Like, no she way. When she should have said, I'll speak English if you will. <laughs> now, here's... <laughs> <laughs> a few things happen. Mm. Yeah. We get oh, the boy. first reveal of the Predator. <laughs> And Whoops. it looks like if you guys ever played video games when you were a kid, if you ever saw a um, if you ever saw the system in television, <laughs> this is what it fucking looked like in television In television. Yeah, yeah. That game. Yeah. It sucks that you guys were all not paying attention to that joke. <laughs> well, in television? I didn't know that uh, game anyway, so I just... Television? That's what the, I don't want to tell people this, I'm 70. That's what this sorry. goddamn fucking guy looks like. The first time they reveal the Predator, it's like, oh, we're playing in television. It's like they got the little disc. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? And the so, numbers on yeah, the yeah. thing. Dude, I have Here's the thing a lot of people don't know. Um, the dude that played the Predator was actually also in The Predator 2. <laughs> Do you know who originally was supposed to play him that was playing Roadhouse. him? Roadhouse. <laughs> no. Yeah, Casey, man. I love you. Roadhouse. <laughs> All right, so they didn't take the weapons or the pack. Now, here's here's the th- here's what happens. So, we have, guys, by the way, do you know this if you're in a movie in 1987, apparently there's a very good chance you're going to be the governor of a state. <laughs> because right here, right here in this fucking scene, yeah, the Chief. governor, oh, yeah, the governor of Minnesota gets fucking whacked. Yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Got killed, but not the governor. He got lasered, California. and then they saw the guy, and his eyes lit up, and it was like, "Hello, hey, we saw the guy," and then they just start shooting. The whole goddamn forest out. They're mowing it. That trees are falling it, down. It's a great scene. There's vines that are coming. That nothing. It's fucking crazy. They hit nothing. They say. But they mentioned earlier 
that when they found the first bodies that there was gunfire everywhere indicating they were just shooting in all directions. Correct. Yeah. So this had happened before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now they know why. Exactly. Now they do know why. Because he's in the trees. They're starting to figure now he's in the trees. Now the uh the Spanish lady who doesn't speak Spanish yet and who was uh in cahoots with the Russians, she finds and uh, is incredibly weak, by the way. She can't even break a couple of fucking zip ties. Well, <laughs> that's correct. I mean, and, now, and, and they well, had that, zip ties in 87? So she I'm, finds some antifreeze yeah, on yeah, a leaf. Yeah. We didn't she, figure out that we could break zip ties until YouTube came along. Came along. Well, that's correct. I know. Yeah. I'm really glad I never got like kidnapped and put in a trunk until yeah, now. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't even have tried it. to try to break. Like, I wouldn't have tried to break. There's a shoelace technique. There's and now a you just go technique. like this and you break it. Yeah. yeah. But before YouTube, I would have just sat there like an idiot. I know, but if you get kidnapped, they do your ankles I've behind you. I've definitely chewed like through that. a zip tie before. Not on my arms. Like, trying really hard to get into, like, a box or something. Oh, <laughs> like a you were trying to get in a box? <laughs> yeah. No, like, like, why the fuck would you want to get in a box? If I can get these zip ties off, I'm going to get, get in this, this box. box. <laughs> Nobody, you guys haven't been there before? Jesus you know Christ. what's worse than that is a there. Chinese finger trap. Oh, I hate those things. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, and the fight, you know what, what the Chinese are trying to do? They sell them to the kids cheap. <laughs> so we'll all end up in those fucking yes. things. And then and they just then, take over the country. Do you ever panic and you get sweaty? You're like, I have a, I have a, fucking great <laughs> masturbation story about that i oh my God. um oh, i i so i used to take you and chris bernie's penises were in now i oh. used to take the toilet paper roll and i would i would like tr- put lotion in nope. there that's really nope. big and nope. jack off with that thing nope. for a while and then one no, day what no you didn't are you, ki- are you i i really did Okay. I squirt like, like a stomach. You weren't there. I would like four inches, squirt huh? a bunch of lotion in there, and I would like jack off with a toilet paper roll. Oh, you'd squeeze it? Uh, no, no, no. I would just like put it on my dick and just like go around the thing. <laughs> I got pretty, girth. I got no. Okay. I got no. Okay. Length at all. Got it. It's just then what happened? Look. Got it. Well, I don't know. They've interrupted the story so much. I forgot. <laughs> That basically, it was like Chinese handcuffs, and I had to wait for it to go down. Yes. And that did happen. <laughs> that oh, it's sense. got swollen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So they What's hit the nothing. Problem? Anyway, it was... Um, <laughs> now, she was... Lex is leaving. <laughs> Are you really leaving? Get He's backing up. Out of here. I am out of here. No, I'm getting my Adderall out. <laughs> good for you. You want another beer? AKA mushrooms. No, I'm good. Okay. Now, uh, so she wipes no, the blood on her pants. after the Adderall. <laughs> and then uh, Predator becomes visible. Um, he gets everything, blah, blah, blah. Now, <laughs> one of the things that happens here is the Predator actually did get hit, right? Yes. He got hit, and then he, so he, he, he chills out for a second. And then he recreates the scene from Rambo. Where Rambo gave himself stitches and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only he has the greatest fucking first aid kit of all time. It like pops out of his arm. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's like a Swiss Army it, knife. Uh, right, and then yeah. surgical kit. But unlike Rambo, fucking Predator, he fucking screamed. Yeah. Rambo, no nope. nothing. Little fucking blood. Little wince. Little wince. Uh. Well, he would have screamed if the direct, you know, the director would have went. Uh, it's time to scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wasn't he the director? <laughs> I know he. They did the yeah. whole thing happened. His arm comes off, and I just go. He took that really well. <laughs> <laughs> all Listen, right. I, all I've gotten out of this movie so far is respect for Rocky Balboa. You know, the, <laughs> he actually made Apollo Creed look like a good actor. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. Okay, should we explain this to Lex? Uh, well, it's part of the show. Sure, go ahead. So right. you tell him. All right. So we had. Did you come we, up with it when we did um, Caddyshack? Mm-hmm. We noticed that, or I noticed that there was a poster on the back wall of the men's or the 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 guys, um, the boys' locker room, the boys' locker room in Caddyshack of uh, the caddies, right? Of the, the caddies, caddies. Yeah. and it was a rating scale for women, and it was a twelve point scale on how to tell if your girl was hot or not, and whether or not to you should be dating her or marry her, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I thought that twelve point scale was incredible. Incredibly sexist, obviously, right? So I made an sure. eleven point scale. 
<laughs> I made an 11 point scale, so it wasn't as sexy. Yeah. And so now, from that point on, I've rated all the, the, the women in the movies with this 11 point scale. Because 12 which, was too far. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's very sexist to be 12. It's like having scale. a dick in your ass. If it's only halfway in, <laughs> it's not gay. It's exactly <laughs> like that. That's actually how we described yeah. it to begin yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Everybody, everybody, right. everybody knows that. But, but yeah. it's still I don't gay. That conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm going to be honest. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm gonna, I've, been no, getting, no, sure. I've been getting colonoscopy since like the age of 19. <laughs> And I'm not sure I'd even feel it from like an average dude. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. Now, I have Wait, made a, a mean. I have, God damn it! Do the fucking now, scale. I've for made Christ a change. Sake. I've tried. I, uh, I, I'm making a change. Oh to the my scale. god! It's are still an eleven point scale. It's still an eleven point scale. Even our fans are frustrated. They're in the room and they're frustrated because I want to hear you. You know you I, right. I want to know what you think. Now. I want to know what you think about the change in my scale. Okay, like our feet on there. Movie, so basically, instead of doing, it's still eleven points total, but instead of doing eleven points for each thing, I'm going hot or not. No. And if it's hot, it's one point. If it's not, it's zero. No. no. Did you so, do the let other me just, thing? Let me just let go through. Let him try it out. Let him try Let's it just out. Try it. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to Can the old one. Can you try it on me first? All right. All uh, I know is El- I would have gotten late already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. El Padilla <laughs> Carrillo. Deal. El Padilla okay. Carrillo. Okay. Here we go. Ready? All right. Hair hot. Eyes hot. Nose not. Mouth hot. Face overall not so hot. No. Uh, arms hot. Boobs not. Waist hot, ass hot, legs hot. Overall, not so much. Uh, that gives her seven points total. So that gives her a seven in the eleven point scale. This is the worst. I do like the other scale better. It's okay. Like fucking. Terrible. I tried it. It was a good try. Can I, you I, do I, the old one? Yeah. Well, I don't have it. Uh, he was trying one, it out. Two, <laughs> five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, Get your calculator out, Rich. All right, give me. Let's see. Hair. I missed the semen in my butt. I give her eight <laughs> eyes. I give her. <laughs> eight. Fuck really it. Never bit. mind. In the mind of Rich. Jesus Christ. It's really great. Really great segment. Thanks. All Never right. change so anything she, again. She gets a seven. They say we're still in too far, and they can't risk coming in after us. The assets, Dylan. Expendable assets. It comes with the job. I can accept it. Bullshit. You're just like the rest of us. Shitload of good a chopper's gonna do us in here anyhow. Sergeant? Sergeant! Not Sergeant! Get a shave. Who came yeah. today? I don't know. I only saw one of them camouflaged. He was there. Those eyes disappeared. What was that? Those eyes there. They disappeared. I know one thing, Major. I drew down a fire straight at it. Capped off 200 rounds in the minigun. Full pack. Nothing. Nothing on this earth could have lived. Not at that range. Best actor in the movie, Predator. He scares the up. shit out of me. Oh my he's god, he's scary. so fucking good here. How does he, he not get razor burn though? He's yeah, just constantly shaving like, with no shaving cream, okay, nothing. Every well, you learned that. In though. an emergency where they had to dry shave their legs, and it's yeah. fucking. It, no, but it you, only but holds you rich. over until that time that somebody needs to touch your legs, and then the next day it's all fucking bumpy. And Soldiers awful. will tell right, you that they don't get crack, used to. rich. <laughs> I, I do it when I actually shave. They will tell you that yeah. though. That like that. They learn to, like soldiers, they learn to shave with cold water. They learn to dry shave. I mean, you can't learn. You can't learn. You just no, do it. Your skin learns to do it, is what I'm saying. Like, you mm. get used to it. Mm. Okay. It's, it's well, when, also, there's I'm a lot ask of humidity Woody on that out there. I mean, ask him right now. Guys got, Woody, can you shave without shaving cream? I do it every time. Really? Yeah, you can. Well, everybody can. I yeah, and look at him. He has a goddamn full you beard. You never use shaving cream? I shave my head with a full I, I beard. Really head without shaving cream. That explains the full beard. Lex, do you shave your head with that shaving cream? Yeah. In the shower? A lot of time I'll shave my head. No, soap just at the or sink. Something? No, I'll just wet the razor and do it. Man. Ouch. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm the same yeah, way. You just, go, yeah. you just go. How long have you had to do that? Um. Well, I mean, I went through a, like, chemo phase. Fuck. Um. Where, uh, you know, actually, like, looked like a Serbian terrorist 
you know, it was like uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. And then and then Terry finally convinced me I need to shave my head. Okay, so, so you went through a what? I went through like a like a chemo phase. Okay, where I so just had, where I just, it was just thin. It was long, but it was all over the place. You know, kind of like. Uh, the head coach at West Virginia. Oh, I know what you're saying. You know? I know what he's saying. Once you shaved it, you Holgerson did. It's look. like the, the Stephen Wright face. Once you yeah. shaved it, though, you looked fucking tough. And you had the beard, and you were, you know. You yeah, were, who knew? Yeah. What it, what it, Woody Chambers says, yes, it's true. Your skin gets used to it. I believe that yeah, that happened for what you, I just Woody, but I said. do not That's believe crazy. it. In what life. does Woody know? He only did 10 deployments. <laughs> yeah, 10 <laughs> deployments. Right, right. I mean, just... <laughs> Woody, how much do you hate your wife? <laughs> no, he loves her. Oh, he fucking loves her. Now, um, <laughs> after yeah, this, bad, bad, <laughs> now after after this scene, it, we see like. Mac does end up with a he does end up in a rumble with what we think is the predator, right? And you, they're just they're going around and around, and yeah, screaming and shit. Yeah, I was very angry about this scene. Yeah, and then he fucking just killed the pig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I made notes. It said. Director tries to build even more tension by making us think the altercation with the alien is taking place when indeed it's a giant sow that they just, <laughs> that they that they end up wasting and not even barbecuing and eating exactly you know which or bury I, it I like, was pissed before I mean, Lex that's like eight hundred dollars worth of barbecue land. <laughs> Lex before last year about Christmas time I would have buried that thing. And enjoyed it three months fucking later. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying right now? I know exactly. Twenty three and me. Fuck that yeah. all up. Fucked it all up. I, I didn't get. This, I didn't get the stomach without knowledge, pal. I get it, man. He would have used the bones. Everything. <laughs> now the salad eating so motherfucker there's over start- here, man. I know my fucking pork. <laughs> they're starting to figure it out. He's killing us one at a time. They're like he, he's like a hunter, right? And then we find out this fucking girl that you just gave a seven on the new worst richer scale of all time can speak fucking English. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, now if I know she eight. spoke English, yeah, I would have given her a fucking so higher score. Maybe the worst line in movie history, mm-hmm. maybe, was where she says it was like a chameleon. He blended in with the jungle. forest or right, the yeah. jungle, right? Yeah. And so Apollo Creed comes out with this. You trying to tell me these men were killed by a lizard? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> also, she's with a bunch of dudes in camo. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. I That's the worst loud description of all time. Dude, I, I, <coughs> Casey, did, I laughed this whole goddamn movie, didn't I? Uh, I can was, I be, like, super honest? You were sleeping and on your phone? No, I was t- wide awake. I was uh, making a martini and was making a kid's lunch. Freaking... Boiled some eggs. I, uh, I I took a couple. Oh, do you laps. still have the boiled eggs? Yeah, there's some lunch. down there. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I did a, I did a couple laps. I don't feel like I missed much. I never knew that that girl didn't speak English, but that's okay. So I guess that was a big plot point. But I don't feel like I didn't get anything. You know, I don't feel like I lost much from the well, story. I think you're right. <laughs> it changed colors, like the chameleon. It uses the jungle. You saying that Blaine and Hawkins were killed by a fucking lizard? That's a bullshit side job. There's two or three men out there at the most. Fucking lizard. What's your name? Anna. Anna. This thing is hunting us. All of us. So you might as well speak English. What do you think you're doing? You need everyone. I'm taking her back. We're out of here in five minutes. You're not going yet. Look, the rendezvous is 10 to 12 miles away from here. You think the chopper's going to wait? Dylan, we make a stand now. Or well, there will be nobody left to go to the chopper. There is something else. When the big man was killed, you must have wounded it. Its blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, fucking leave my analogy in there, and just like that was, that was fucking kick ass. You're gonna try to cut that up and try to make it more interesting for people like you, but it was fucking great. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, I don't think it's that hard to see, honestly. Like, what? If you see it, you you notice that. 
It's yeah, not that hard like, to see it, if you're looking for it. And also, fast, what is this guy doing? What's the alien doing when they're having like five minutes of dialogue each time? He's in the tree. He's following them around. Like, why is he off? Like, getting groceries? Isn't he skinning? He's got a life, people? man. Jeez. No, same as at the beginning of the movie. He's watching them just. I know, but out what they do. he could completely. He could completely fuck them up at any moment's notice, and he can hear them. The whole time. You so think. Every time they're like plotting what they're gonna do, he's hearing them plot. I started thinking to myself that he was like saving their voices in his head and he could. Like, I thought that oh, was gonna come into play. That, right? He did that, right? He used their voice. I it did. I thought it was going to come to play, but I don't think it he came into play. He did it like play. one time. It does a lot more in the set. I thought he did, but like it was at but, the very end. It's just him and Arnold. He like repeated something. And he was laughing. That's what I thought. Ha, ha, right. ha, yeah, but it was yeah. the ha ha ha. But I thought it was going to be like, hey, over here. Yeah. And then you walk over there and you get stabbed or something. Right. Uh, but it didn't come to play. No. I thought no, that, that totally was going to come because remember it was like over here and then it actually was him hiding the PS, black guy that, was hiding the I, I realize i'm no fuck it i'll talk about it in a minute goddamn because you'll cut it anyway <laughs> um are you trying to tell me these men were killed by a lizard <laughs> have we talked about that yet or uh, yeah yeah, yeah yeah all right so you said it's the worst line in the movie. <laughs> I, know, I know lex yeah. i'm fucking with rich about the editing yeah. <laughs> so uh i'm leaving all that in that should be the name of this podcast Fuck with rich. Yeah, one hundred percent true. It yeah, kind it of almost, is. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. That's true. So the demon is taking trophies of men or whatever, and there's so much happening. Participation here. or like that's what I was thinking. <laughs> cool. That's the next clip, by the way. Yeah, that's today's predator. <laughs> yeah, it's like I didn't kill him, Dad. That's okay. Here, here's a head. <laughs> Come on, this is good <laughs> shit over here. Clip. Sorry, Rich is fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Ow. 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 <laughs> Take that, Woody. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Told you you should have bought When chicks. I was little, we found her. <laughs> she looked like... Like a butcher. The old women in the village crossed themselves and whispered crazy things, strange things. El diablo cazador de hombres. Only in the hottest years this happens. And this year it grows hot. We begin finding our man. We found them sometimes without their skin. And sometimes much, much worse. El que hace trofeos de los hombres means the demon who makes trophies of man. Here's the thing. It only happens once every hundred years. Get the fuck Don't out of there. there. Yeah, yeah, no, like leave <laughs> and then guess what? He's going to be done. Yeah. Did you ever watch shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Not the movie, like the show. No. And you're like, Maybe just don't fucking live there. Yeah. Like that's where all the if that's yeah. like, agreed. It's a hell mouth where all the demons are. Like maybe mm. just like yeah, kind of like Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, no, let's not go to the lake yeah. because a lot of people have been fucking killed there. <laughs> yeah. You know? it's like, but you can't. Lost Boys. Let's Here's not go to the beach. That big white shark might be there. Here's the thing about Friday the 13th, <laughs> though. You can't get away from that, though, because it's like, let's go fuck in a bunk bed, and then the knife just comes up through your chest. Yeah. Oh, the girl. Like, that was oh, Kevin Bacon, right? The lake. I'm a yeah. hockey yeah, fan. Right. Yeah. Did you know that was Kevin Bacon? Uh, how many degrees of separation am I from him? Two. I no, I'm, I think it's just one. I'm one, yeah. All right. Why? Uh, Why just one? Because I'm the fucking most famous person you've ever met, Lex. Except so since for, I'm married to you, I'm am kidding. I like one degree mm, further every time? No. No, I don't know. We we. We're, I'm we're, always two. You're always one. I, I embellish. I think. All right. So I got you, motherfucker. Happens here. Um, now they net this guy. They net him, and he just ah! Like, why does he scream like a bird? Because he's, he's kind of the, the re, he's kind of the pussy of the predator race. What? But of the predator race, I mean they're pretty badass. So he, how do he, you know that? Scared him. I'm just making that up. Okay, Jesus Christ. By no, the way, you know what it is? It, it's it's like you know when you catch a big wave when you're surfing. It's like yeah. All right, so he was yeah. like, this is yeah, he's like, it's like the beginning of Crazy Train. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, 
God, I love her. You did so good. I She's told you you would. Time around. Didn't I tell yeah. you you would? You know, I mean, you like me, you fucked up the first time, but you got it right, pal. That's exactly That's right. right. Now, I did too. Jared, now, how many Predator movies have you seen? This total? is my first one. You, wait, this is the first time you've seen this movie? I think I saw this maybe back in the Including day. Including Dateline? Oh, wow. But I did or, not. <laughs> watch yeah, there's a whole day. movie about catching them. If they had just yeah. watched that, they would have had an easier time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. No, yeah. Yeah. Catch a now, Chris Hansen, I've seen that. Hey, Chris Hansen, come on. Yeah. So, you've been yeah. wearing uniforms and shooting at You're going to want to sit down. <laughs> there, there is a Listen, Dateline Mr. to Catch a Predator, Predator. Mr. Movie. Predator, you're going to want to have a seat here. <laughs> uh, you're welcome to go at any time, but we'd like to talk yeah. to you. So, Predators, go. with an S, is my favorite of these movies. <laughs> you can disappear really? if you like, yeah. but the you're in the database. It's uh, the one with uh, the pianist the pianist in it. What's his name? Should have called it the organ. I think, Adrian Brody. Now, I think that Predators was the only Predator Lawrence movie Fishburne. I had fully watched ever before this, and it was so much different than this one. This one was like one that was on TV all the time whenever I was like sick in third grade, and you turn it on, and they made that creepy little noise, and I'd be like, nope, I'm just going to watch fucking Full House again. <laughs> like, Well, so here... Yeah, talk about some Predators. We actually start to, they actually start to be able to see him, and then, <laughs> interestingly enough, the uh, 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 they will actually fast forward to a Terminator thing where he used to that, that laser would like show up on people and yeah. shit mm-hmm. and here we see this triangle will just, will just show right. up on people and you see it on Sweet Cheeks right there <laughs> if you're watching the feed and so this is a so little bit of, I love it it's a little bit of foreshadowing right I mean it's kind of cool you see this yeah. thing on you and then you know your head is about to disappear and then um, so a really bad thing happens, and okay. uh, I'm worried about this. All right. So Apollo Creed's arm gets shot off. Oh. He he doesn't suffer for long. Well, no. Here's the thing. That's why he had to train Rocky to beat Clubber Lang. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where I said he took that well. Yeah. I don't know what y'all were talking about before. I just jumped in. <laughs> the best part of it is, like, his arm is just there, and it's yeah. still pulling the trigger and shit. <laughs> right. And then he just reaches back and just pulls another gun out and starts And then he died. Yeah. Now, uh, then after this, Billy has lost his goddamn mind. He goes out onto the bridge, takes his shirt off, and just cuts himself, right? Mm-hmm. My favorite special effect of the movie is when he wipes the dull blade on him and cuts it, and it's just red makeup that comes <laughs> right, across yeah, yeah. his chest or whatever. Yeah. You know, my kid went through a cutting phase. It's okay. What? Your daughter did? It's a joke. No, okay, God happy. damn it. All right. I didn't talk to her during I, had, I actually Me either. Are you before, kidding me? Yeah. They're in their room the whole time. Yeah, your fucking mind? Between marriages, <laughs> um, I met a girl online that was into that, and I just... That's the first time I had ever heard of it. She was Wanted like, have you ever cut you? Or well, she was like, have you ever heard of, you heard of cutting? Too. And I'm like, no. And she was like, well, I like when we're having sex that you're like doing a razor blade on my Shit. back. <laughs> my and God. That's, that's different than cutting. That is completely different than cutting. cutting now, did you like ask her about cutting the cheese? Because <laughs> that is such a good thing to do. Oh, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> Run! So I thought that was Get to the Chopper on the clips. That is Get to the Chopper. I know. No, there's another movie he where says, he says that. Well, he actually says it again later he in does? this movie. Yeah, yeah he, he does. He said it earlier already. 
Okay, thank you, Sweet Pants. I didn't even know this pants. was from this movie. No, this get is... to the chopper. <laughs> this... <laughs> Up until he said get to the chopper, I thought all That's of that audio Nazi was version. from that like, VHS you found in your dad. Isn't get to the closet. chopper the one where, uh, what's her face, like that uh, was in the movie with... True Lies? Yeah, and she's hanging <laughs> off the... Th- yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. is Clearly hanging off the... He might yeah. say it ironically there too i don't know but i think is, he, I, I bet there's like seven one. movies he says it. There's all a right lot so of here we get some yeah. side boob you didn't like the side boob this is actually I, a really good side boob it, i thought so too i was the first one to acknowledge it i was like can we see it again side boob. i mean it is actual side boob i mean i don't know what, what do you mean by good now it was a good. lot it was of like, things it has a good visibility it had like a good swoop on the tank sure, top sure a little sure, bit sweaty sure. a lot bad. of things happen here to arnold he gets like he's he gets thrown around a smidge or whatever. He has to swim again. He goes into a waterfall, you know, and then he he finds himself in a lagoon. He swims to the to the shore, and then guess what? This goddamn thing can fucking swim, and you still can't see him. Right. So you see just well, a little the, ways uh, until the electricity uh, exactly right. A bad is, conductor. You, is that even what's on, going on? Yeah. yeah, but it seemed like he could clear it really instantly by just pressing a button. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like he's, he's just kind of getting his wits together and all that. But in the meantime, old Mudface over there realizes right? <laughs> old he can't see him. Yeah, he can't see him anymore. Right, and so he's just, he lets him go off, and then guess what? You know, from our favorite movie, The Goonies. What booty, the fuck is a goonie? No, booty twaps. <laughs> <laughs> booty twaps. Booty twaps. He starts to set booty twaps. Uh huh. And God damn it, if it doesn't fucking work later in the movie, I don't mean to give it away. Right. But Jesus Christ, he says some great ass fucking hate booty to spoil twaps. Spoil a movie for me. I do have a question though. Now hold on. Let me just let you guys know that Billy had gone out onto this bridge and taken his shirt off and cut himself, and right. you may yeah. have been wondering at this point if he was dead. At this point, we find out. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? 100%. Okay. Yes. The guy has died. <laughs> he doesn't make it to the chopper. Let's put it that That's way. That's it. Yeah. No, he did not get to the chopper. No. He agreed to sex stuff with that guy. Billy right. did <laughs> does not support the podcast. Well, I, well, if you remember, <laughs> if you remember, they got a little up the trail and heard, ah! yeah, yeah. He, but, just got a, he just got a splinter. That's all. It but was. you know what they did I there, though, true, yeah. is they made that thing where his scream became them all sort of falling down and like yeah. a bunch of other <laughs> stuff <laughs> happening <laughs> too. It's called good editing, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, or just a fucking mess. Lazy. <laughs> of a but goddamn. What, movie. But what's the deal with Billy? I mean, what, what what's with the you know growing a set and taking on the predator? Are they trying? He to, knew he was going to die. He said it earlier. We're all going to die. He's are like, they Fuck trying it, I'm to die. Him, I might as well go out like a man? They're trying to make him like a tracker, right? Like a Native American. Yes. And I'll bet yeah, it's you, very he, insulting. I bet you he thought that he was Native American. Here's why: <laughs> they didn't have twenty three in me. <laughs> In 1987. I, I called Jane Andrews. He has a teeth. He's time. probably that Italian son of for a crying bitch. out loud. He's Scandinavian. <laughs> this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, Jared always he's goes, a, he's a late cousin of Bjorn Borg. <laughs> he always goes, Well, I'm also Scandinavian. Those are like Vikings and shit. I'm like, It's like point one. I mean, like really one of your relatives one. like mm. licked one one time. Like, that's it. Yeah, well, hey, at least I'm you're sure 99% they did something. I'm like, uh, my parents fucked all over Europe. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm like your I, parents. I, I look like the wheel your of fortune great, on my DNA. Your wheel. fucking great grandparents did though. No, yeah. I got mine back. Like I'm like literally like physically like just a super white human. Mine's like a big old pie chart. Spanish, yeah, Native me too. American, me too. European, like all these things. His is a blue circle. I'm a mon- <laughs> so funny. I'm a mongrel. <laughs> now uh, here he makes a homemade bow and arrow. That can, Something you should know how to do. That can well, I could until December, and then I <laughs> fucking forgot, and I can't do it anymore. <laughs> hey, here's the thing: I'd actually uh, like I had like quite a collection of like old like memorabilia from my family and shit from that. I, this twenty three of me comes in, fucking disappeared. I don't have anything. There's not one arrowhead no in this evidence. goddamn head in this house at all. Now, um. He makes these bow and arrows that explode, right? Mm-hmm. Now, the Predator likes to blow shit up, too, mm-hmm. because he is the... Doo, doo, right. doo. There's lasers, right? Lasers. Yeah. yeah. Now... Uh, I the, love the shoulder gun, man. That's so badass. 
Is it? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, because it goes where he looks. I yeah. know, but to me, it looks like a security camera. It's almost just like, hey, it's that blows it is it a up. security yeah, but for camera. It sees you yeah. and exactly. secures your safety. Right. Now, <laughs> here we see the Predator Corner, um, Conan the Barbarian, <laughs> and he decides he wants a fair fight. So he. Yeah, that, it's, there's a respect level now. Is he, he, there? Yeah, yes, that's what it is. It's like it's like okay, this this one has some game. This is what I came here for. I didn't come here to just nail fucking helpless people. But he comes I came there here for some action. Every hundred years, he comes there. That's gross. I don't, yeah. think, it's, I don't think is it hundred? Yeah, years? yeah. And look what, what he has to go through to get one good fight. That, that's right. what this is. You know, it's like it's like finally I found my guy. I found so the guy I, that's going to give me. I've some, been out yeah. here in this fucking jungle. It's like my version of a Holiday Inn Express. Right. The shitty people coming through, and now we finally get a good guest. You know what? Uh, you know what's yeah. really fucked up is that like if this guy really did visit South America, like where he is right now. Imagine if he fucking stumbles into a place and discovers cocaine. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what the fuck would happen? Like, you'd be like, do, get- do, 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 but everywhere. No, but he might not be all, like, murdered. He could be, like, that guy that, like, at a party that's kind of a dick. Then he, like, goes to the bathroom and comes back. And he's like, man, I love you guys. This is the best night yeah. of my life. Let's or, fucking yeah. hang out. Let's get married. Let's go fucking hang out. You- <laughs> or he runs into the Contras who are all jacked on cocaine. And right. he's like, fuck this. Do you not think, though, that, <laughs> like, if, crazy. if this guy comes back to South America every hundred years, like, you don't think, like, he's just, like, killed a village or some shit and, like, had, like, an empanada and just been like, Jesus Christ, this place isn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll empanada. just, I'm gonna fucking Empanadas just. Empanadas aren't that good. I, they're they're kind of so dry and flaky. Good. They are not. Not if they're yeah. done well. If they're done well, they're so they're delicious. A dry. What, why couldn't Maybe you say I'll like manudo take... or something? What? You could have just said manudo or something. Well, it's uh, it's because Cinco uh, at the Donna Macedona at the shopping mall. <laughs> that's, that's manudo. Maybe that he's the really one that good. killed Serena. <laughs> Serena. Serena. Said Serena. <laughs> Dude, it's Selena. Uh, whatever. Salinas. I hate to bring up the movie, yeah. but. If he already knows, <laughs> they went Serena Williams. Oh, if he already she knows like the that the predator won't hurt her if she's not, if she doesn't have a gun in her hand, why not just everyone throw the guns away? What do you mean? Does he know that he kicked? He was yeah. He said it to her before, and then he kicked the gun out of her hand so, so he, she wouldn't die. I actually did not pick up on that. Yeah. So the, right, everyone knew that. Everyone so knows. the predator, yeah, I, I we're didn't. all in agreement. Yeah, no, I, nobody I, I understands. He did cut, uh, she loses the knife, and he says it again. I think he sensed because she was a female. He didn't do it. No, so no, if no. they're if they don't have a weapon, he won't hurt them. Right. Yeah, yeah because, because remember, it's not sporting. It's not. Remember uh, in Predator Two, the the one person was pregnant and it didn't kill it. Well, Lex, no, I do not, because I've only seen this movie <laughs> because I had to fucking watch it. <laughs> well, if you know anything about me, I do things backwards, and I saw that one first. Yeah. True story. You saw Predator what was your yeah. first Star Wars movie? Lovely, yeah. Right? Well, yeah, see? What was your first Star Wars movie? Uh, well, Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, because but not that's morons. the fourth movie. You were tricked into it. Okay. But you were running down your dad's leg when that movie came out. That's you know very I mean? true. Oh, he got you on that. Yeah. yeah, boom. You sure were. I wasn't boom. Now, still got hold it. on, sweet cheeks. What was your first Star Wars movie? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Okay, because that's when he was born. Well, well hold on, <laughs> but you didn't see it in the theater. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, no, you didn't see it in the theater. No. The first yeah. theater one, episode one. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. So the yeah. first theater one was the, uh, the re-release, episode one. Yeah, and dude. I was a kid. I didn't even know that movie was shitty yet. I didn't get that. I saw, Jar Jar Binks was racist. I didn't get any. I of watched that it with my kids, and I didn't think it was shitty. I as soon as I watched it without three. my kids, I was like, "Oh my god, this is terrible!" All three how, original how Star Wars. In me? the thing. Oh sure. Yeah. Hey, hold yeah. on, guys. Right hold now, on. Rob, Rob Everybody, Lund, stop, 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 stop. Just for a second. Hold that thought. Oh, did we crash? We gotta do it all over again, guys. <laughs> did we catch it right away? Let's though? start again. What was okay. your first Star Wars movie? <laughs> Bingo. Good job, Sean. You're the best. Sweet Cheeks, what was your first? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> How old are you? He's asking. Uh, 20, I'll be 28 October 1st. Well, you guys are the same age. So you're 27. No, I turned 28 last August 7th. Oh, you're 28 finally? 
Yeah. Jared, nice. how old are you? I did do? not take it I well. I turn 32 tomorrow. Yeah, that up. When is Rob Lowe going to admit he's your dad? Wait, it, so my first Star Wars was when <laughs> I my, my dad? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a compliment. <laughs> it is. I'd much rather be James Franco. But <laughs> Lex, do you what? know this dude cannot get a chick? He's like no. hung up on his old girlfriend. Yeah. He get is, the fuck out. No, dude. I'm not joking. Dude, let's just get into this right now. <laughs> Told you, you instead. Listen to me. So this guy, his girlfriend breaks up with him. She's fucking his friend who worked at the same place as him, right? And hold on. Get this. The friend he, didn't the the friend didn't tell him and he can he's like confiding in the friend. My confiding girl broke in the up friend, with me. Blah, blah, blah. And the friend's like, man, that's fucked up that's or whatever. That's terrible, dude. I can't Guess believe what? it. Guess what? That's the dude that's fucking his girl, right? And then, Is so he, he alive? Listen to me. Lex, he quits his job. Because that's where the friend works. So, because that's where that. the- I get it. Because fuck that. Yeah. But at this, now, but he still wants her back. Listen. <laughs> good pussy's good pussy. <laughs> Here we go. Pretend but, um, like you just called your shit. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. But, but here's the thing. Colin. Dude, look at this face. It went and got new pussy when that happened to me. Right. <laughs> it, it, you just you got to do it. You got. I mean, she she's but, gone. But she's my best friend, Lex. He's got all the feelings, though. Yeah, I know he does, and and they're and they're totally valid. They but are. Lex, I had a connection with her that I just singer? never had. Any I feel like with Adam other. Sandler and the Wedding Singer. That's not how that movie went down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of going down. Take the can't, fucking can't, shirt off before you jinx it. the band and they you, fucking break up. Like, <laughs> yeah. what? And you can't <laughs> sing either. So there. Can you not? Well. He can't. So Listen. that's Sweet Cheeks. That's him. Oh, Write this down in your notebook. Okay. She's gone. No. Go Aww. get a new one. All right. Dude, did you want to come on the show? We'll get you a new chick. Yeah. First tattoo right there. Lost the first love. Please go on Lex and all Terry. The feelings. Yes, go get a girlfriend on Lex and Terry. And go get yes, a girlfriend on Lex and Terry. He's saying he'll do it right all now. Right, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Wait, wait. That's the thing. Can yeah, I what do that? Rich? No. <laughs> the girlfriend I've been working at this a lot longer than fucking he listen, has. I'm not a miracle worker. I've been broken up for like five years. <laughs> God damn it. He's not a miracle worker. I'm rich on that. I'm, I'm no, but back. Rich fucking <laughs> pulls <laughs> ladies. That's the weird thing. Like, yeah, oh, I, I, I can, pull them into the dungeon. I can pull them, but once they realize that I have cats. And don't I'm, just don't talk about the Imagine cats. if you're Jared Spear. Are you hey, just Jared, cat Jared Spear has 19 cats. Listen, you guys are y'all are goddamn fucking cat friends. How many, hey, you know what night. though? I still land chicks, so <laughs> Hey, Jared, you do. How, how many Anytime cats do you have? Want. Let's let's fess up. I'm not saying the number. God damn it. <laughs> Too is many, is it more than 10 or is it less than 10? How, how do you tell less than 10? So how do you tell the girl you have cats? But here's the This is important. This is interesting. Wait. How do you tell the girl you have cats? I want like You don't when you you're like talking and she's like so what do you got? Do you have animals or anything? I said, like, I'm a cat dad. You don't no. Oh my God, you bring say dad? You, no. you don't say I'm cat dad? You don't bring that up. What the You're fuck proud. is wrong with you? I'm proud of it. I love my okay. pussies. Uh, you don't bring it up, man. No, no. no. Jared, Jared the cat man knows No, if rules. you have to admit that you From have cats, you say I have adopted some cats. Now no. remember that Jared, no. remember that, no. hold on, Lex, you have to know this about Jared over here. Now, Jared was babysitting some cats for a girl ten cats for a girl that he liked and he wanted uh, nothing to do to with date, him. By the way, what used, used to date? It used to date, yeah. and now he. Ha how many cats do you have now? Now they're mine again. I'm not saying it's nine I'm or ten, like ten but less than they ten. were her we goddamn kits. Cats. God God more damn than it. five, less than ten. I'll, I like I'll the mystery. That. It's eight. It's <laughs> more than it's five, eight. less than ten. It's eight. No. More than five, less than ten. How many do you have? It doesn't matter. More four. than five, you're four, done. Four cats yeah. and then a Pekingese. You have you four cats? Like, yes. What, what is wrong you with you? Can I ask you guys this? You do and, not bring it up. Huh? Can I be honest about something? Or is this the? Are you guys establishing a relationship as cat people? <laughs> cat dads. I do. Yeah. I have four. I went outside. Y'all need to start your own oh, podcast four. called Look, Cat Dads. It, it either oh. works in your favor. Listen, or it goes you don't have to you. apologize you for having cats. That's how you get away. Here's the thing that I have to do with a girl. Is say, yeah, I have fucking cats. So what? That's <laughs> yeah. the way you do it. Totally agree. That's the way you do if it right there. You, up, you don't you, apologize for it. You don't, you say, don't I'm their it's dad. Just, okay, I'm not their fucking here. dad. I, I'm a good guy. I have to take care of some fucking I cats. I even <laughs> kick them <laughs> occasionally. That's, Honestly, that's, that's how I handle it if it comes up. That is literally exactly yeah. what I say. 
No. Yeah, I have some goddamn cats. And, and you also okay, don't one, bring them home. One more thing. So I don't know if I should change this. Absolutely not. But, so there I are hotels for a reason. I have a poster about that size above They're my not fireplace. they in Macon, Georgia. And it is a big picture of Scarlett Johansson, like, undressing. And it's it's not moving. It's staying there. But people get really offended by it. Why? Because it's a hot chick in my living room. That's yeah, not why. Because it's bachelorery. No. You're not a oh my God. serious okay. adult. I know I already, like, tuned up your... T- Fucking, I don't say Twitter, Tinder. your Tinder account, but I'm gonna have to come and check out your apartment and fix From it. From now up. on, thank you, Casey. From now on, that's not Scarlett Johansson. That that's the first girl you murdered, Casey. <laughs> Casey. Yeah. Okay. Is 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 my is God my place damn. presentable for bringing? We got we got to put some hair on your chest, the zebra pal. Pillow. My place is very. That's clean. gone. That's been gone for years. Agree. I think your place being clean is badass, but I have to do. I do have to agree with him. It's like you're bringing. <laughs> A friend over who's a girl or whatever. Like, what? Why does she want to see that? Like, just make it. Dude, they want else. They want a man. They want. They want like a total. I mean, dude, I have a two hundred inch projection screen movie theater in my house. Okay, here's the question. (laughs) That's that not badass. That's great. Have you ever seen the movie? You don't have an. Have you ever seen the movie Never So Deep or Nine (laughs) Forecasts, where uh, the scene happens where he says, "What a big cunt! (laughs) What a big cunt!" (laughs) (laughs) Is there an echo in that? Well, yeah, yeah. That, that one happens, and then he just Boom. goes, I only said it once. once so what, once, what, once, what once. does a 200-inch projection screen have to do with being, like, a badass? If it's, I come, it, it's, it's basically a 200% chance he's not going to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> any, any, I haven't really I, used it since the break. Any, any guns? <laughs> like, I mean, guns she, or... Because she gets sucked into anything. steel magnolias and doesn't want to fuck you Tools. <laughs> We're going to have a talk later. Yeah, you, gotta, okay, Dude, you need to she, take pointers. Okay, you're going to be a junk. I think you won't understand it, but take some pointers from Rich, who did, who did the fucking Tinder thing for a long time. It was fascinating. We went to a party, like five girls were like sitting up waiting up to see who was going to be the one that stayed. But he did like, he got a 70 inch fucking television and put it in his bedroom Lex. and had a regular one in his living room. So he'd be like, hey, you want to go? Uh, the good TV's in my room. Yeah. <laughs> and like... Lex, it have you ever heard this worked. song? Listen to this. It worked. It's a true story. This is based on a true story. Listen. Is this a Scottish band? It all went down. Rich was on Tinder and his TV. 70 inch. He had some nights. He won't remember once in his house. I saw him dance. Yep. Do you know this song? Pitbull and Kesha, listen. Rich clickety clacked and got online. Made some connections, uh-huh. things were fine. Couple of crazies with really nice booze. And took one or two to brunch club too. Yeah. Parts were licked, parts were sucked. Yeah. Hates every single one of the Apple products. Once took a date to rock 101 Grill. Wants to like your music, but he never will. Tinder. Find a partner, older, young. Richest high standards, cock block fun. Find a partner, older, young. Richest high standards, cock block fun. It all went down. Rich got off Tinder, but his TV. Now has some chairs. Yep. He likes to be passive aggressive, likes you to say <laughs> he doesn't care. It all went down. Rich was on Tinder and his TV. 70 inch. He had some nights. He won't remember what's in his house. I saw him dance. Rock about baby on the treetop. Once he had a party and he woke up to cough. The Chick fil A nuggets went really, really fast. But the chicken salad sandwiches seemed to last. <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, we did not rape her. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. Now, <laughs> someone says, Lex reminds me of a really cool Vince Vaughn, which is a good fucking compliment because wow, Vince Vaughn's that's pretty true. fucking cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a cool. Dude, I've met Vince Vaughn. A, he's fucking tall as shit, yeah. <laughs> but he's also really, really, really nice to everybody. And so, unlike Ben Stiller, what a fucking dickhead! I cannot believe that. I don't. I refuse to. Yeah, he's the worst. Simple now, Jack's an asshole. Who? Simple Jack. Simple, <laughs> Simple Jack. Jack. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's a he's dickhead. Just probably because people call him Simple Jack all the time, but Maybe. it could be. You I don't could have be wrong. Vince Vaughn's lips though. Vince Vaughn's lips are. Can we just say good. this? No, he yeah. meant his voice. I'm sure he just be like. I don't I, know. Can we That's just okay. say <laughs> when they start to fight that he takes his mask off 
<laughs> he unhooks all these tubes, right? It's like, it's like, uh, yeah, it's why, like ripping off your earring well, for the girl which fight. Which would be, it's like, <laughs> like to me, it's like when my uh, CPAP comes unplugged in the middle of the night. <laughs> and I'm like, you're not going to, you're going to start snoring, dude. You're going to, God damn it, don't do that. And he does it. And he, he comes changed out. the little CPAP mask and it has this thing that comes off of his nose. And I rolled over on it and it was like, <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> I see, he goes, you're on my trunk. <laughs> and I fucking laughed for like, yeah. I mean, longer than I'm proud of about that. I, I, mean, I mean, that fucking face looks like a pussy. It does, you with know, it's teeth. Like, it's like, if I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's like, man, I don't want my gooey fucking hand. Honestly, to be honest, if we're talking pussy right now, Lex. Teeth. It looks like one of those ones when you're like 22 and you're like, am I going to do this? Or am I not? <laughs> and you just go, also and you're like, those Anderson. teeth aren't gonna hurt. There's a movie They're called not Teeth about a vagina with teeth. Yeah. yeah, it's called Teeth, and yeah. it's horrible. Yeah, it's <sighs> horrifying. On top of that, that mm-hmm. oh god. Can't I mean that I that looks like like an old woman's beat up pussy. That face. It <laughs> looks like the. It, not that this, I've seen that. Here's what it looks like. It looks <laughs> like an octopus. Like have you ever seen an octopus? In mm, a little bit, like a squiddy kind of. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks like an octopus. Only octopus. he can. You... Octopus. So an octopus. If you look, it has a. They have like these. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh-huh. God damn it! Thank you, Rich. Uh, I'm with you. I'm totally with you. We'll see it right here. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Kill me. I'm here. Kill me. I'm here. Kill me. Come on. Kill me. I'm here. Come on. Do it now. Kill me. The Charlie's Angels. (laughs) Charlie's here and so are the angels. It's so fucking late 70s to me, this. Yeah. Oh my God. Is that when you thought the movie was made? In the 70s? No, I actually thought. You thought it was was newer, I thought it was a 90s movie. I did too. And as I was, it was so. As soon as I saw how young Schwarzenegger was, though, I yeah, was like, yeah, and he's it, it, he was in, very chiseled well, in this. Yo, he's so kid. thin. Oh, well, he was he's, Mr. Yeah. Universe yeah. at one point. Conan, <coughs> that's when he was Conan the Barbarian. He no, but speak, no, he before before he was Conan. even an actor. That's correct. Yeah, before he, before he was even an actor, he was in, he was in those Joe Weider magazines, and, and you know had the. Muscle Beach, the, yeah. And then, and, and he was I, right. He was he was, he was Mr. Three three yeah, we yeah. before he was ever an actor. I, yeah. Then yeah. I was, asked him while we were watching because, this. I said, okay. yeah. because why? Sorry. No, go ahead. Because why? Saying, they, they, so I read his book. They selected him for acting because he basically was this just big ass on a dude. on a bet. Yeah, <laughs> but he had the personality. Harvey Weinstein said, kind "I of. bet I could they, fuck up a movie <laughs> and and fuck a girl at the like same time." Like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is basically the Louisiana Purchase. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just like it's the greatest gamble of all time. Like, come on, let's do this. It's a card game. It's, tra- it's trading places. Yeah, yeah. It's God, the Mortimers. It's just I bet you a dollar. See I what make happens. An out of this motherfucker. I'm we so just, glad we're going educated. Now. Yeah, thank you. Right? Yeah. It's just, you know what? It's a fucking card here. game. Let's see if he can be Conan the Barbarian. He doesn't even have to speak, right? And we'll get James Earl Jones, who will make a snake into a fucking arrow <laughs> and shoot it into the girl that he loves. What is his most serious movie he's ever done? Um, most serious. Like- oh no, it's the it's the zombie one. He was great in it. Zombies. What? Huh? His daughter. There's a movie about him. Terminator's uh, the most serious movie. No, no, no. The, uh, I'm telling you. I think he's right. Actually, Total what Terminator? Recall, I would say Total uh, Recall over Expendables. Terminator. Do you no, know what's why? the most recent? There's like a really recent one. It's the name of a girl. This is the name of the movie. Really recent? Yeah, really recent. Like in the 2010 ish. 
Maria. Well, while you're looking that up, can I tell you why Terminator is one of the greatest marketing, look like, up. great movies of all time? Uh, I, I think it's the greatest because I can do Reese. Be- well, yeah. hold on. It's because he's It can't he's a- be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't <laughs> feel pity or pain or remorse. Right. It's because yeah. he's a bad guy, though. Yeah. The fact that we all fell in love with Maggie. this guy who was there to kill everybody. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, everybody. And then they well, had to... John ma- Connor, actually. So they, they had to make him a good guy in the second one because it was like, dude, we fucking love this dude. It's like Darth Vader. It's like, had they figured out a way to make him a good guy? Darth Vader is the greatest fucking villain of all well, time. Well, he was originally Yeah, they did a make him guy. a good guy. They just did it all fucking... After backwards. he was dead. Quentin tarantino yeah. Sure. Yeah. But Darth Vader's the greatest villain of all time. It can... It, can anybody match that? Who's Jafar a better? Scar or Scar from uh, Lion King? Ooh, no. What? With him. Nope, no. I'm on his side. Scar from Lion no. King. Scar from Lion King never wins. Dude, that shit came up today on Lion Guard. I'm with him. It still hurts. Nah, Scar doesn't. I'm still mad. And he comes back. Scar kills the, the king or whatever, but he never rules anything, and everything that he rules yeah, he is does. shit. He destroys the king. No, the best That's villain of all time is fucking uh, the guy in Die Hard. Come on, Hans man. Hans Gruber. Yeah, Hans Gruber all the way. What? <laughs> he's yeah. a genius. Yeah, he's best a best genius, fucking he's villain a ever. Ass. Best fucking villain ever. Nah, he died. Well, Jared doesn't awesome even think manner. it's a, a Christmas movie. Okay, so I there. just looked it's up. It's not a I Christmas just movie. Typed in, <laughs> thank you, Lex. It I just is. typed in into Christmas Google movie. just just straight up movie villains, and the first one that comes up is Hans Gruber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's the best. All right, so the best movie he was in, to answer your question, is a movie called Maggie. Where his daughter um, contracts whatever disease turns people into zombies, and it's not an action movie at all. It's a hundred percent emotion from start to finish, and he's remember, absolutely great. I remember the scene when he told her. He said, "Wake up, Maggie. I have something to say." To you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want to backtrack. <laughs> By the way, he's coming out with another Conan movie. What? He's playing Conan in The Legend of Conan. He's got to get back to the for that. But, I don't want to backtrack too nice. much, but the first animated one on the list is Scar, mm-hmm. by the way. Just so you know. Scar okay. on the list Scar. of villains. So Scar's not even like, as good yeah. as Scarface. Agreed. What about, yeah. what about Thanos? No. Sorry, what? a fucking cartoon's no. not the best the, villain. The movie version of Thanos is not Ooh, the Ooh, what about villain. Voldemort? That's a good one. Not the movie version. Yeah, thou shall not speak his name. So he didn't die. That's crazy. this plume is yeah you didn't God. jump over a tree to dodge this fucking plume yeah i know it's not no that's yeah. not how this works and if you did you're so fucking eaten up with radiation yeah it's, it's not just... how any of this works yeah also there is no way you go from <laughs> to <laughs> hold on wait here's my impression <laughs> Of what just happened. Okay, so... You're not going to talk to me the, like that in oh, wait, my... Hold on. <laughs> sorry, I hit the wrong button. So, here it is. So, like, he's like... And he goes... Oh, 
And then shit blows up. <laughs> Face Stacy writes. I'm sorry. Uh, no, we're not oh, on that yet. Wait, can you put that over him actually laughing? Like, the, over him? Alright, let's do no, that clip can't. again. No, we can't. We can. Oh, yeah. okay. Do the clip again. That is pretty damn close, though. Alright, here we go. This is David Dooley over Predator. Here we go. Now, right now, Predator is, is gonna kill himself. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, fuck! I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out. Ah, clink, 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 clink. Face invaders for video games. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> it's a better movie it's like, already. It's, like, yeah. it's literally a better it's like movie a now. Dr. Evil. <laughs> you can still hear him laughing. I love it. He's still He's alive. just laughing in the clouds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the? Perfect. Oh my god. Oh boy. Face Stacy writes. Hold on. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, let's back up. Just this a is second. a classic movie. I, I, yes, it's laughable. Because it's from 1987 or whatever. It's actually a really good movie. I it's, get it. I totally get it. It started totally. a franchise that I think completely kicks ass. Agreed. I love the Predator franchise, and I love how they mixed it with the Alien, even though that everyone doesn't like the Alien versus Predator. But I too. I like that it's in the same universe. Right. What's Now, Alien versus Predator, what happens? They're just those two, and they just Yeah, it's like in the it's Antarctic exactly or something. Like. But I, I actually like the movie. It was fine. So there's no talking? Uh, yeah, there's kind of like Sean over there. There's people in it. It's no, it's like America. <laughs> they lock them up together. There's the like a drilling predators. thing in oh, Antarctica, God. and then they run across this this whole thing, and the aliens are <laughs> fighting the predators and all that kind of shit. It's preposterous. This reminds me of a uh, uh, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, a little bit. Can I ask you guys Why, this now? Cats in it? Again, <laughs> can I ask you guys this at the end of this movie though? Yeah. Did we really need the spaceship thing at the front? No. No, I agree no. with you. I, no. I don't. Nope. In fact, I don't know I, why they did that. I think it actually took away from the movie, to be honest. I think it made me just keep like guessing, like, okay, is the ship going to come rescue him, or is he... Is he stranded, or yeah. are they going to find the ship? Well, no, yeah. that's not even why it shouldn't have been there. You should have not known it had anything to do with aliens now, until the yeah. alien shows up. What I'm saying is correct. It's just like that, that <clears throat> yeah, he's there, but like the spaceship is just like, okay. They so should, they should show the spaceship coming towards Earth at the end and when they see the mushroom cloud, it turns back nope. <laughs> <laughs> They could have saved it for the ending, like the post-credits, and then have another ship coming down. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Yeah. The, literally that same scene after the credits, yeah. Or cut to a scene on the on the Predator planet where they tell his wife that he's not coming home. <laughs> hey, uh, before we carry <laughs> on here, I want to thank everybody for sharing. If you shared our post, we're going to say your name. So it, when I, I realize it's hard to find us on Facebook now because Rich has been in jail for so long. It's still out there. Oh, I, it is? I can't tag, though. Okay, God damn it. Shut yeah, the fuck it up. It won't let you tag Jared Goss. You to too. All right. Wait, wait, what? It yeah, won't, won't let, let you tag. tag. Goes to the movies. What does that mean? Why? It won't let you know. find it. Yeah. You Nobody on it. that side of the room's tagging anything. The, what? The fan page still works. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, but you can't like if I'm gonna if I like when I posted today that I was gonna be here, it wouldn't Rich. let me do the name. It wouldn't let me tag the name of the page. That makes me mad. Yeah. yeah if you put at, it will let you do at Jared goes to the movies on the computer. It wouldn't let me do it. Huh? It does on my phone. Well, thank you everybody for sharing. Face Stacy, Nigel Watson. Joey Bishop, Barry Ferguson, Woody Joey Chambers, Bishop. on his goddamn fucking tenth fucking deployment. Woody, thank Woody, you. You're well, the you guy. can't go out on nine. That's an odd number. Sean, you gotta go ten. Um, back, diddle, 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 boom, back, get it up, my Ray Jimenez, Grant Hill, my favorite basketball player of the uh, 19... 80s? 90s. 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 
Jake Bradford, Wendy Croft, Simon Rogers, Jared Spear, who's right the fuck over yeah, there. Yeah, Thanks for sharing. Rod on James, Wendy Mitch Cruff, Bergeron, Person Carr, Chris yeah, Pulse, yeah. Andy Yerman, Ronnie Clement, and Austin. Mark Graff. Sweet Woo! Cheeks, he's right there. Cool boy. Single. single. And he's single. <laughs> Let's check the Facebook page. Face Stacy writes... Just listen to the Do Over podcast. I totally love Casey's way of dealing with mean girls. So perfectly bitchy and twisted. I need to train my girls to yep. do it. Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. There you go. <laughs> if you can't train them, I will train them. I'm going to do a YouTube <laughs> live seminar. There you go. But you do have to pay me. That's the whole thing. Ah, yep. To it. teach you your children yeah, how to be. She's not asshole. free. I should do, yeah. Make it a VHS. Let's check the email box. Email us at Jared goes to the movies at gmail.com. <laughs> Face Stacy writes Hi, guys. I meant to message you before and forgot, but now the kids are back to school. Everything is easier. Anyhow, I got my 15 year old daughter, Reagan, to watch There's, uh, There's Something About Mary with me, and we listen to the podcast together. I'm so sorry. Oh, Holy shit, no. Reagan. I'm so sorry. On a long journey. I'm glad to say she shares my chair, uh, childish sense of hum- humor and thought it was hilarious. I'm looking forward to seeing Jared in Sheffield in a couple of weeks. Hey, we're doing it. Do it. Uh, Ronnie Clement of Colon Blow Band writes Hey, guys. I'm not sure if you're still looking for a Will replacement for the show, but I vote for Shannon. As soon as I heard she was on the show for Gone Girl, I knew it would be a good show. If she is not available for full-time replacement position, at least keep her on the short list for fill-in. Well, Jarrett screwed that up. Uh, That's my two cents. (laughs) Did he say that? No, I said that. How did I screw it up? (laughs) I like to think it started with Rich. What? Did yeah. I screw it up? No, no, it didn't start with me. I've got my opinions on that. You're saying that I screwed that whole thing up? Um, Let's check the email. <laughs> P.S. Yeah. Casey, movies. in regards to the listener email from Tim from Maine and his comment about Bowling for Soup not coming to Maine, uh, lighten up on the exclamation point. Me? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. It's not that bad up here. To prove it, I wrote you this little stolen ditty. Did you want to? Our news guys from Maine. Yes, it is that bad up here. Did you want to sing this? I put it on your thing. Uh, (laughs) What is it? Oh, I'm seeing it now. If you're needing a break. Oh, sure. Do I? Oh, let me get a guitar. (laughs) (laughs) Do you need a guitar? Or should I just sing it? It's up to you. I'll sing it if you want me to. Okay, go ahead. I don't really want to. I want Sing you to it. do it, Rich. I don't know how to Yeah, the... because you know what? This Shannon thing's actually bothering me. You're okay. saying No, that... I want to talk about the song. This is mine. Casey. I got a PS. I never get mentioned. You're saying that I, I'm i responsible for the whole Shannon explosion thing? I, I don't. Time to break out some Henry Gross. I don't know. So Shannon I lis- is I gone! I listened to it on the way here. Did y'all... It she said that y'all... She... Te- I have no idea what y'all texted about, but she said y'all texted about something. Well, hey, you screwed it up. It definitely didn't Ooh. seem like it was my fault. You screwed up the No, she was really nice in all the, the text day. messages. That she was. Okay. Huh? The episode you up seemed the fun, except for you kept giving her shit because she read the book and watched the movie. You kept giving her shit about that. Yeah, but that's normal. But I, yeah, that's what I figured too. It just sounded like a normal conversation to me. Sounded good. I mean, do you really, want somebody, you was, you really want somebody that was on during Gone Girl coming back anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were all there. Well, it's actually <laughs> so funny to have on this. Lex, show. here's the thing. Yeah. So it's Rich's ex-wife. That was my ex-wife. Oh, oh, the my first ex-wife. one. And yeah, that had nothing to do with you then. No, he's made her a character <laughs> on the show. She's been on here like three times, three and times. apparently last time you were a little rough on the beaver. You, you told me to, I could have the text where you told me to do it. What's no, I beaver? said you can ask about our daughter. That's all I said in the text. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, what's a beaver? I was giving, I was given fucking, I, I was told that I could just ask anything I wanted. And no, that's I not what I said. I said, you can ask about our daughter. That's the, what right. the text said. So Read apparently, it. I didn't. No. Oh. <laughs> she thought you were a little rough on her. I would think that I apologize step for one it. of that whole situation, and I usually am pretty much middleman of the situation. I miss the semen in my butt. <laughs> step one of all of that would probably not be. Bringing all of the fucking info here 
and then bringing yeah. her back on the show. Correct. Which is kind of what happens. Let's just, right, right. Let's I agree not, with that. Our show's don't, an open book. It's kind of hard. Sometimes shit sucks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't I bring it in here. God, this sounds so familiar. It, 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 yeah. But it was it was like two minutes that you guys talked about it and then moved on. Don't bring yeah, it in here. I anymore. cut a lot out. But uh, yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. We've had fist that, fights over possible, two yeah, minutes over the years. The, uh, the edited show sounded yeah. fine. It, it, there wasn't yeah, anything. Yeah, even the outtakes, it wasn't. The edited show. It wasn't that bad. Are you going to sing now or what's going on? Do you mean to do it with a guitar or no? Okay. Can I sing with you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You, you do, gotta read do it. Do it with me. Do it. Yeah, but you have to play the bass part in your... I don't know the bass part. Okay. No, he doesn't have the info. I was kidding. Songs. I was kidding. I don't know how to play them. If you're needing a break. Yeah, go ahead. A little, a little time, time to think. think. Then come on to Portland and bring the whole band. We go to drink. <laughs> we can go for a drink. I like that. I don't don't correct me on the... I like to... Yeah, 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 and also I'm actually the Grammy nominated guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Not you. There's did, also a I bunch of gold records up here. All right. Awesome. Yeah. I got okay. nominated for a Marconi once. Sometimes <laughs> there's more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what though? Yeah. I won a draw scary witch contest in ki- in a kindergarten. Which to- totally tops a Marconi in my book. There's got. nothing wrong with the state of Maine <laughs> except the snow and the rain. <laughs> That's a good fucking rhyme. Yeah. That That's a Tom DeLonge one That right is there. also true. We have some kick-ass lobster. <laughs> and if you're a monster, they'll s- <laughs> is that what, monsieur? If you ask any monsieur. <laughs> they'll this, say that we're not lame. That's true. Okay, can I be honest? That's pretty damn good off the top of your head. What? Did I say something? I've never even been to Maine. Did I it's say a, something? That's, that's the whole so thing. when you're it's done doing other states and you're through... Doing your English mates, <laughs> Cumberland <laughs> County will be right here waiting for you. How about this? I'm saying, please be my main squeeze. <laughs> You're writing alternate lyrics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? Come the play the state of Maine. It's just not the same since you never came. We actually have been there. Oh, you have? Yeah, we oh, have been. Really this good. is historically yeah. inaccurate. We have a funny <laughs> accent, just like y'all in the Lone Star State. There's a seat for you on Old Archer Beach, <laughs> and most of the girls have shaved. Besides, the <laughs> lobster bait sucks south of here anyway. Yeah! P.S. We have been to Maine, and in fact, <laughs> this is actually a true fucking story. I'm not joking. Ohio was written... After we went to Maine with another Texas band, and we ate Mexican food because it was a Sunday, mm-hmm. and there was no lobster available. Uh, I'm, I'm not joking. Should have got clam chowder. Oh, it was fucking terrible, and that's when I wrote that the Mexican food sucks north of here anyway. Mm-hmm. It was us and Dynamite Hack who did that cover of the Easy e song, Woke Up oh, Quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out About Noon, and yep. uh, so... Ten fucking Texas dudes. Did they write it. the cover? Did they write the cover? They covered the cover. Did I say they wrote it? Yeah. God damn well, yeah, it. But it's good that you write the music with it. I just want to say that that was a really cool song. And yeah. I just say, sh- I don't even know I said anything about Maine. I had no well, fucking apparently idea. You did. I just say things. I don't, well, know that was I, I don't know what I say. Interestingly enough, it was in Maine when I wrote The Mexican Food Sucks That's Northern crazy. Beer anyway. So we appreciate you guys. Hey, thank you guys for listening to the show. I want to say thank you to uh, Sweet Cheeks for being here. And also, oh yes, what do you want to say? It's midnight. Happy birthday. Oh, happy, you. Birthday, uh, happy birthday, Jared. Happy birthday. It's your fucking birthday. No it's your fucking you. birthday. You, were, you would have gotten cake and balloons and everything. If you would have me. known. If she would have back, known it was your birthday, it'd be dude, fucking great. I would have birthday so I've been, hard. I've been 32 for an hour back home. P.S. So. Dude, here's the thing. Really I would sing balloons. you happy birthday, but I can't under contract. <laughs> <laughs> because people would think you, you could, would you would win tickets and shit. You can do it off my What about Feliz Navidad? Uh, That's Christmas. Yep, yeah. that's a different thing. Jesus Christ. You counts. tried your best. <laughs> oh, Feliz you Cumbianos. Really that's tried. what you're thinking of. Yeah, right. ah, Feliz key. <laughs> All right. What's the one that awesome. Bennigan says? Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special day. Happy, blah, happy blah, birthday. Blah, 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 blah. Hey! Happy, happy birthday. Lions, we're all getting good from you, Drew. Happy, blah, happy blah, blah, birthday blah, blah, blah. from Bennigan to you. So, hey! hey! We're basically going to a strip club after this, right? For his birthday? Uh, No. I don't like strip clubs, so no. I'm not. I'm going to watch football tomorrow. 
What is it with you guys? You Maybe got cats in them. You got strip <laughs> Jared, clubs. Jared, the today's fuck is Friday. Porn, Man, you're like is... the millennial poster children over here. Go ahead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't touch any of the natural butts. Hey, guys. Thank you so very much, Lex. Yes, sir. This come is a back. big deal yeah. to me. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a big much. deal to me, too. I, I got to come back. Hey, American Please Beauty back. is all yours. I mean, if I didn't overstay my welcome or whatever, I'd love oh to Oh, my back. God. Yeah. I'm I'm not kidding. We would love to have you anytime. And I mean, I, I don't want to overstay my invites, but please come back sometime. And also, dude. get Sweet Cheeks a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. You... <laughs> what are you doing after this, huh? Uh, <laughs> Sweet Cheeks, uh, I fucking uh, I, love you. Casey? I love you more. Thanks. Jared Spear, I'm so happy that we're about to go downstairs and have a beer together. Absolutely. Happy, happy it's birthday. It's fucking oh, great. Oh, I might stay for that. Uh, Silent Sean, God damn it, I fucking love you. Rich. Sean, you're the best. You're okay. Sean, you're less beardy. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and drive safe. <laughs> Guys, we will see you down the road. <laughs> I like you more than a friend. Oh, I like you more than a friend. Most of all, Thank we'll you. see you down the road.